What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Doggy Diamonds, for DoggyDiamondsTV.com. Right now, I'm about to give you the full PD Crack interview. I gave it to you, the audio on the podcast. Salute to everybody who listened, who shared, who liked, who commented, who, who supported that. I also got a Charlemagne the God full podcast on there, too. So make sure you go to the SoundCloud page, which is Doggy Diamonds No Filter. Make sure you go to the iTunes, Doggy Diamonds No Filter, and listen to those. I'm going to drop the full Charlemagne the God interview sometime next week. Video, that is. Um, I mean, I'm just dropping this full PD Crack um, video right now. So I just wanted to say, everybody, man, thank you for the overwhelming support that I've been getting. The love. Thank everybody for the donations. I'm definitely um, appreciative of that. And I'm just going to keep working. I got some more coming next week. I, you know, every week I'm hitting you with a new podcast. I might even start doing two in a week. But I'm not going to overcrowd you, bore you. I got some ideas and some plans. I'm doing all this on an independent level by myself. So salute to everybody who's been supporting. Without further ado, let's get into um, what I think might be one of the greatest interviews of all time. This PD Crack interview. You know, I've done many interviews that I love, but I really, really love this interview. And according to the people, which is you, y'all love it too. So I'm gonna give y'all the whole thing right now. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe before you get the fuck out of here. Peace. And go to the SoundCloud, subscribe to that, and go to the iTunes and subscribe to that. Peace. What's up, everybody? I go by the name of Doggy Diamonds. You are now listening to No Filter Podcast. No filter means honesty. If you're afraid of honesty, then this ain't the podcast for you. We gonna be honest today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Doggy Diamonds. This is No Filter Podcast. I got a motherfucking special guest. I ain't even gonna waste no time. Let, introduce yourself to the people. It's one and only Philly's finest PD Crack in the building. What up, doggy? PD Crack. How long we been trying to knock something out? It been a minute, man. <laughs> and trust me, it ain't been because uh, I didn't want to come here. Yeah. But, um, you know, it, everybody got their own little situations and everything. And um, I wanted to come up here when um, when the time was right. You know what I'm saying? It just wasn't the right time. But now is the right time. The right time. Yes. Where, where the fuck you been hiding, though, man? Uh, I'm in Philly, man. See, people don't know. This is the thing with me, man. I'm real. I'm real particular type person. So, um, if I'm not feeling what's going on, like uh, with my business or just the music business, period, uh -huh. I'm not gonna be at every party or at everybody mix. You know what I'm saying? Staying relevant. You know how people keep themselves relevant by yeah, being yeah, here, yeah, being yeah. there. I don't do that, man. I'm more into just the craft. Like I rather. I only wanna um record. And focus on the crap. I don't like that other side of the game. Um, to hang out the club. The yeah, party. I don't like that at all. We had a lot of. I had a, a little a nice taste of that dealing with Rockefeller Records and Def Jam and that whole run. And it was nothing what um, I imagined it to be. You know what I'm saying? So, so let's take them back for the people who don't know who the fuck you are. Mm -hmm. How did you get into all of this business shit? Because I remember like you was just there. But I right. don't remember me being from Brooklyn. I don't remember the, yeah, the, the grind. grind. Yeah. I'm just like, yo, right. this, 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 this nice kid that, just that popped, out, just of popped out of nowhere. He That's how I of, see Yeah. He a part of state property. Yeah. You part of Rockefeller. So the walkthrough was going to be what it was. It wasn't going to be tough for you. Right. But we didn't see the grind. What was the, what, where, did, where the hell you came yeah, from? Yeah, it definitely was a long, long road. But, um, uh, it's gonna be real interesting for you because nobody know none of this stuff I'm about to tell you. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm from Seven Montgomery and down North Philly, and uh, Freeway lived a block uh away from me. He lived on Seventh Street too, but he lived on Cecil B. Moore. His grandma's house was there. His cousin named Indy Five Hundred. That's my best friend since we was like seven years old. He rapped old. too, right? He rapped too. Yeah, yeah, that's my definitely. partner. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I heard. Yeah, y'all did a lot. But of Five time. just don't like all. Of, oh, we can cuss on here, right? Yeah, hell yeah. Five don't like all of all that fuck shit, niggas, yeah, yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, all yeah, that yeah, fake yeah. shit. So he never would do good with um getting in the business because he always would just be like g checking niggas all the time. Nobody wanted to work with him because the nigga <laughs> yeah, attitude. Too rowdy, he don't yeah, like that. Just, See me, I'm a chameleon. Yeah. I put up with the fuck shit because I ain't here to be a homie all the time. I'm here to get my money. You know what I'm saying? I put up with your shit to get my bread and then I'm out. But five just be g checking niggas and it never worked. But um we grew up blocks apart. So um me, free and five always been real tight. And five little brother Hemi too he passed away. But we was all like a little squad. So 
uh, growing up through the years since we was kids, going to Halloween parties together and stuff like that, eight, nine years old. And then we got older, start going to um, high school together, Kensington High School. And we start rhyming. Freeway was like, Freeway always rapped. And I always rap too, but um, I never would let nobody know that I could rap. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? Because um, I wasn't, I was, I was scared. I didn't, I wasn't confident. You know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah. Okay. But when I was a kid, Freeway was always confident since I met him. He always was just like, he he, he didn't care. Like he he was fair. He was like, yo, what was his name? Um, I think his name was Basil. That was his Bicel. first rap name? Freeway Bozzy was his first rap Freeway name. Freeway Bozzy. So he Freeway. was always on the freeway shit. Yeah. No, no, no. Actually, it was Basil first. Then it turned to Freeway Bozzy, then just Freeway. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it was Basil first. So uh, I would always see him and he'd be like, yo, let me hear the rap. You can rap crack. I'm like, yeah, I can rap, man. I spit my little raps for him. But um, throughout the throughout the years, from us going to school, we stopped going to school. Me, Free, and Five, we was all sharing shifts in the, in the dope house, like... Um, first it was free and five, but then five, I, my bread, I was fucked up. And five knew I was fucked up. Five, like, yo, crack, man. I got an eight hour shift. You could, um, I'll give you four hours, dog. That's my boy. We was like <laughs> 17. He's like, yo, you take four and I take the other four. And I went in there and shit. Selling and we, crack. Selling crack out the dope house. So we was hustling for the boy. Uh, he knew we could rap. So he was just like, yo, man, y'all want to go in the studio? And I, we was like, fuck yeah, nigga. And he was like, yo, yo, write some shit. I'm going to take y'all to the studio. And um, we're going to make a group and shit. So I made this name up. Well, I ain't make the name up. My man, um, Scarfo, we made this name up called Ice City. And uh, Y'all still end up running with that later on, too. Though, well, right? Free Free took it and ran with it. It wasn't okay. his shit, though. Okay. Free, that was, free jacked you for he it. Ran, he jacked Scarfo for Scar- it. Scarfo, okay. But Scarfo was my man. He was from Frankfurt. He wasn't from my hood, but I brought him around. Okay. But um, Scarfo always had all these ideas and shit. You know what I'm saying? So he was just like, yeah, Ice City. And we start, we start recording music and shit. And we was a group. Ice City. Um, I was uh, Pedro Tequila. Wow. Tequila. <laughs> and yo, as crazy as that... I thought that tequila, I didn't know tequila was like Mexican. Tequila's Mexican. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know that It either. is. I'm yeah. Spanish, but I okay. thought that was like some Spanish shit. So I thought that was fly to say like Pedro Tequila. That's the only reason I said that. So that was my name. My man, uh, Freeway Partner, my right-hand man, Indy 500, his name was uh, Ty Siegel because okay. his name Tyrone. <laughs> wow. And then uh, Freeway name was Bazanova. Bazanova. I swear to God. Bazanova. Yo, Pedro when, Tequila. Yo, when he see this shit, he go, he go yeah, wild yeah, out on yeah. me. All okay. right, but yo, this, his name was Bazanova. And then my man who uh, had the ideas was named, uh, he used to change his name all the time. His name was uh, Todd Nitty. And then he changed his name to Hustle and a bunch of shit. But um, anyway, uh, Throughout the years, we was all hustling together and shit. I got locked up in that dope house, too. And then Freeway got locked up in a dope, the same niggas dope house, but down a block. And we both was in the same uh, program. We both uh, acted like uh, we was on crack. and To get the drug program. To get the drug program to get out. Yeah, yeah, everybody everybody do that shit. So we ended up in the same drug program, right? So... We see each other. I'm like, Free, what's up, man? You got to remember, I knew these things when I was like seven years old, so now we in drug program together. <laughs> this shit is ill. You're like, yo, what's up, crack? What's up? Like, man, I'm trying to get this program done, get out of this shit. So uh, um, I remember this shit crazy. Uh, Beans just came out. He got signed to, uh, to uh, Rockefeller Records. Right? I kept okay. hearing about this boy named Beanie Siegel, but I never knew what he looked like. And I was in a skating ring one day, and they was like, yo, Beanie Siegel in here. But I didn't, it was a bunch of South Philly niggas. I'm like, which one is Beans? I never knew what he looked like. So uh, I just knew the name. And um, Free uh, free Beans had performed at some spot called Bobby Dances down North Philly. It was like a little popping uh, spot for the kids, like a drink that like all ages could go to. Uh-huh. But it was, just, it was all the hood had. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was the only place that we could go. Nowhere else was was open for us. It wasn't no clubs and shit. So Beans performed there and Free was so, you know, aggressive and um ambitious. I was shy. Free went to the performance and just jumped on stage and gripped the mic. While, while he, he didn't even know this nigga. You know oh, what I'm wow. saying? He gripped the mic and start and started dogging it. And back then Free could freestyle his ass off about anything. He never would write nothing. He just freestyle about Whatever in the wrong, he's one of them niggas. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was yeah. really good at that shit. So um, he impressed Beans and Beans gripped him up. 
took his number and shit and um and they took him up to New York and introduced him to um to Jay and he slid on that one nine hundred hustler. Wow. So this the thing. Um, I had got locked up. I violated my program, so I was in. Um, Why are niggas in Philly stay in jail, man? What the fuck? I don't you? know, man. Yeah. I'm not a jail dude, man. I'm 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 a spoiled. I'm an only child. I've been spoiled all my life. I don't know how the fuck I kept getting like yeah. that. But um, uh, so I'm in the joint, and everybody know that's my man. And I'm booked, and niggas run up to me, like, yo, crack, ain't that boy? Ain't that your man? He on that one hundred hustler joint with um, with uh Jay Z and them, man. You better go home and get down with the boy yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna see what's up. So when I get home, I got home and uh. The whole hood was buzzing about that. Like, yo, you, your man, your man doing it. He got signed to Rockefeller. So you're from North Philly and Freeway's from North Philly. Freeway from West Philly. Okay. But his grandma lived down north where me and five lived there, so he would always come down north. Okay, okay. But he really from west. People always be getting that fucked up in Philly. Everybody, yo, he from west. His mother lived in west, but he never wanted to hang down there. He wanted to come down here with us. Okay. His homies was there. Because you, know you know us from New York. We, we Like, there is no East Philly. Nah, it's like uh, y'all got north, like northeast, but that's like fucking suburbs. But y'all got north, south, and west, and southwest. Yeah, southwest, all right, fuck, yeah, fuck yeah, all yeah. that shit. Yeah, right, yeah. But fuck it, it makes sense. But yeah. the keep it real, true though, is all the same though, man. Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah, all yeah. of the same. But y'all kind of different though. I can hear y'all got different accents to me though. Yeah, what you mean? Us from y'all from or... From Philly. Like, I can, oh, I Philly? can tell yeah, the definitely. difference between Philly. She said dudes. that as soon as I started talking to her, yeah. she was like, oh, you got your little Philly accent. Yeah, she yeah. from Brooklyn. Okay. So, yeah. she peeped it from the rip. You know, I don't know the city. Yeah, 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 just, yeah. No, I'm talking about within Philly, y'all sound different depending on where y'all from. Yeah. Yeah. I could tell North Philly dudes from West Philly dudes. I can too. Yeah. I, I, I was about and to say South that. Philly yeah, yeah, I, 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 always, I always could tell that. Yeah, it's certain things that they say. It's always a um a a, a, a cliche thing that's that's popping in there. Yeah, what, what, what is that? What is that dick eating shit niggas be saying? Like, you don't I, know what that means. <laughs> yeah, I know what it mean, but I don't know. Out here, you call a nigga dick eating. You might get shot out here. Yeah, like, nah, you know what? That shit always been around. It's it's just a way to tell a nigga like, yo. Um, like, like if if you if you ODing on something, like yeah. yo, you be like yo, yeah, homie, man, that car crazy, man. You be like, all right, that's cool, yo, man, but don't run, like yo, chill, man, you dick eating now, dog. <laughs> what the fuck? Relax, <laughs> yeah, that's you going crazy. too hard, man. Stop dick eating, yeah, no yeah. dick eating at all around yeah, me, please. Don't I want no um dick eating fraud, y'all love like those words, frauding, don't yeah, no frauding, yeah. no drawing, don't be coming around me drawing. What the fuck is drawing? <laughs> drawing is like you doing too much, like oh, okay, like 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 say like say if um. Say if uh, my man dropped some weed right there, yeah, right? Yeah, but he yeah, ain't yeah. see, he ain't, he ain't, yeah, he ain't yeah. know he dropped it. Yeah. And I, um, I'm about to go grab it and shit. Then my man, my man be like, yo, um, yo, hey, crack, uh, we, I'm like, yo, fuck, you drawing for Oh, yeah, oh, you making you, it hot. You drew on the shit. Oh, I'm about okay. to grab Makes this shit. Sense. So that's drawing. That's Philly Don't slang. Don't blow right. nothing up. It's yeah, drawing. Yeah. But, um, all right, my bad. But back to the shit. Uh, so, um. He doing 1 900 Hustler. He did 1 900 Hustler. Yeah, my bad. Um, Damn, where was I at though? And, and you, all right, no, I was you, booked. So look, so I come home and shit, and uh, I was selling weed and shit on the corner and shit. When I came home, my aunt was fucking with this boy, and he was cool though. He was thorough. He had the butt. So um, I seen him one day and shit. I had like eight hundred bucks to my name. I was like, yo, man, I need like a pound, man. Let me get a pound. It's like it was a thousand. I was like, I got like eight hundred dollars, man. He's like, all right, crack him up. You up, man? It's time, man. You come back. So he gave me the pound, and after that one pound, I was just always just buying. I was only, I was only making a little bit of money off the off pound, the top and reing up just on the enough pound? to get another pound. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was going nowhere for me. But anyway, uh, I'm selling weed on the corner and shit at the at the bar, and I just keep hearing about freeway, and freeway and shit. And I was getting a little discouraged. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because around that time, I didn't understand that. Um, the position he was in, he couldn't, it was too early for him to be able to do anything for anybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, he I was only, still just I, trying to get his I shit. I only know that now from when I got in the position and then niggas was all on my neck. And like, and I'm like, damn, chill. Like, nigga, I'm just getting here. Let me get dug in. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. Like, Yo, hook me up. Crowd. What the fuck, nigga? I'm barely in this bitch. But, um. Go ahead. So, uh. 
I ain't going to lie. I did get mad at Free. I'm going to keep it. Just, we keeping it so no G filter. on this joint. I'm no sorry. Filter. You know what, though? That's my brother, and I love him to death. And he know this, too. And he know everything I'm saying is all truthful shit. I ain't making shit up like other niggas be doing. Yeah, yeah, niggas yeah, yeah, been yeah. making a lot of shit up We're going to get into it. Yeah, a lot of fabrications, stories, and shit. <laughs> Fictional shit. So you was like free. Uh, so I'm selling butt on the corner, and the board member I told you niggas yeah, was selling yeah, yeah, crack yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. He uh him he had a white Tahoe, and uh once free start popping, they kind of like uh the whole group thing and all of that. It's I felt like just like all right, uh, free on. This is what we doing right now. Okay, I don't know what y'all niggas gonna do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this would not hit me, man. This would, this this will really put the battery in my back. I was selling butt on the corner, and I saw the Tahoe, and I, it was free, and it was driving up and shit. And normally we squad, but them niggas hit the horn on me like they had not. I was like, I was, I was like, yo, what up? And them niggas like, uh, uh. And I saw that shit, and something just, something just <laughs> kicked into me like. And me and Five like this, so I talked to Five. I was like, you know what, Five man, fuck them niggas. We about to get on some bullshit, and that's what me and Five. Said fuck the Ice City shit and it was just crack and five. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It was just me and him. That's when you did you changed from Pedro at the time? That's when I um nah actually uh that came about because um it was this song called Cocaine Crack Militia with me, Free Five, and everybody. Okay. You know, I just said this one part in the song. This is when I was Pedro to killer, but I said this one thing, I was like, um, they used to call me PD Cracko, like Benny Blanco. Remember Benny Blanco from yeah, the Yeah, definitely, definitely. The, but I I didn't say that for that to be my name. I just said that because it sound fly in the verse. But everybody on the block would always be like, yo, hey cracks, uh, we'll spit that John PD Cracko. And niggas just be like, yo, hey Cracko. And so my name yeah. was PD Cracko, and then we just clipped the O off, and it was just PD Crack, and that's how that drink came about. But um, uh, as I was booked, I met this dude named Corman, right, a little Italian dude, real smooth dude, real handsome, smooth uh little Italian young boy. Yeah. But he was tough though, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. He was, he was, he was. Just, you could tell he was tough. His demeanor was tough, you know what I'm saying? He walked with confidence. He'd be in the yard. He was white boy. He'd be around all the black motherfuckers, no problem. So uh. I used to bust niggas' asses in the yard, right? I was busting niggas' asses so much, I stopped going in the yard because nobody- you mean like fighting? No. Um, Rapping? Battling, okay, yeah. yeah. It'd yeah, be yeah. battles every day in the yard. So I stopped going in the yard, and my man um, my man used to always come to my joint. like, yo, man, he crack. He come to my cell. He's like, he crack. Yo, them niggas out there rapping, man. Boy, thank you. Come on, man. I'm like, yo, I don't feel like that shit, man. He's like, come on, crack, man. So I went out there and trashed all of them niggas. Like, I be trashing like eight niggas. That all everybody get wrecked on. Nobody could fuck with me. I used to rap really fast and really precisely. Like, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, um, the boy Corman pulled me to the side one day. He's like, yo, man, you decent, man. You should try to do something with that, man, when you get home. I said, yeah, man, I've been doing shit for a long time. He said, well, I got um, I got these people, um, dudes named Anthony and Louis Farlow. Um, you should give me your number, man, when um when I come home. Uh, when we go home, I'm going to get in contact with them. They got a studio, man. They might want to uh, manage you. So I gave my contact, yo. And as time told, I come home. I didn't. They didn't let me come directly home. I had to go to like a halfway house and shit. Uh -huh. So I was living in a halfway house for like um, six months and shit. But he called me. He called my grandma crib. My grandma was like, yo, some guy named Carmen called here. I'm like, oh, that's the white boy from yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's my the, man. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. up? So I called him and shit. I'm like, what's up? He's like, yo, I'm about to come get you, man. I'm like, all right, but you got to park around the corner because you can't be pulling up in Looking front like of the Looking like police halfway. and shit, right? You can't be pulling up in front of the halfway house because I can't be getting in no cars and shit. I'm yeah. still on probation oh, and okay, shit. Okay. You're going to yeah, fuck yeah, my yeah. shit up. So I hopped in the wheel with him and we went We went and got a bottle of Alizé. I remember this shit. We got a bottle of Alizé and then we slid to his man crib, Anthony and Louis Farlow. And these two Italian, old two Italian brothers and shit. They had a studio in the crib. He introduced me to him. I spit for him and shit. And they fuck with me and shit. So um, I continue. I didn't really uh, we wasn't in cahoots like that until Carmen died. This nigga passed away. You know wow. what I'm saying? He overdosed on um diesel oxycotton oh, and yeah. shit. You know Pill, what I'm diesel he was hard on them joints. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. He overdosed on pills and shit and passed away. And then I saw them at his funeral. And then when I saw them at his funeral, they was like, yo, man, Carmen introduced us to you and shit, man. It's crazy, man. We got to do something. I was like, all right, come on, let's do something. So uh, 
Um, they had the stew, and I just I I brought five in. I was like, yo, five. I got these Italian niggas, man. They dope, man. They cool as shit. Let's fuck with these niggas. Start fucking they stew up. So me and five used to go down the studio like every day and just bombing on shit. And at this time, Freeway was still on Rockefeller. Freeway was still over there. We wasn't worried about nothing yeah, they yeah, was yeah. doing because we I was on a mission. You know what I'm saying? I was I was on some vendetta type shit. Yeah, 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 I felt yeah, like yeah. y'all shitted on me at the time. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? I was being um hot headed, you know what I'm saying, and rebellious and shit. I was looking at it the way how I see it now. I'm more considerate now. Nigga don't owe me nothing. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But when you young, you just like, fuck that. At I, the time, I, want I, was, in. I was offended like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. So, um, then where was I? At? Uh, so we bombing the boy studio and shit. And, um, fucking, uh, Oh, I run into Oskino. I just met Oskino. I didn't know none of them niggas. I ain't know Chris Neef. Yeah, because um, you know we the way our perception is like they all grew up together. Right. No, yeah. I didn't. I didn't know none of them. I was home. I was in the hood watching state property with everybody else. <laughs> the fuck Straight up, no bullshit. But I, the movie, the movie, the first. Holy one. shit! I was home. I was playing the tape, folk flex and all that shit, knowing the words and shit. While they was on the, I while they was fan. freestyling. Yeah. While they was dissing Mob Deep and yeah, all that, you was at home. I didn't know them niggas yet. Wow. Wow. I didn't know Beans and none of them. So, um. You just knew Freeway. Just knew Freeway. So, all the boss niggas used to grab all they little artists and shit. That was the shit, the trendy thing to do. All the bosses had little rappers and shit. Yeah, because I remember the, I, the um, Ace and them. The, the, all the Ace Capone yeah, 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 shit. Ace Capone, exactly. all, the, all the boss niggas always had like a little record company yeah, and yeah, rap yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, Typical, yeah. you know. Street shit, yeah. So, um, uh, they would make us battle. So, we had this this crib called the Ice Factory and shit. It was a crib. And we was in there and they brought me free and um I think one more person from my squad. And they had Oskino Sparks. And we was going back and forth. And it wasn't like a battle, but it was just time to wreck everybody. My man was on some shit like, yo, man, spit that shit crack. And yeah, then yeah, they yeah. made like like tell us, bro, yo, get that, spit that shit. So we kinda going back and forth on some friendly shit. But uh after I was done, when we was done spitting, O was like, yo, man, you dope, man. What's your name, man? O Skino. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just met him. He's like, yo, you dope, man. What's your name? Yo, get, let me get your number, man. Shit. So I gave him my number, and this nigga hit me one day. He's like, yo, man, I want to do a song with you. O the first nigga to do a song with me. Wow. He's like, y'all do a song with you, man. Was he on Rockefeller at the time? He was on Rockefeller. He's on wow. Black Friday management with Rockefeller, okay, with Roller. Okay. Remember Roller and them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mac, yeah, yeah. homie Roller that passed yeah, away yeah. was managing them. They had that... So, t- oh, t- so, oh, so, hold up. Let's get this right for the mm-hmm. people. O brought you into the Rockefeller situation, not I ain't say not he brought freeway. me into the Rockefeller situation. Okay. I'm just saying that he did a song with me. While he was on Rockefeller. While he was on Rockefeller. And Free didn't. Nah, nah, Free didn't. Okay. All right, so we, 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 we get yeah, yeah, to yeah, it, yeah, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh... I told her, I was like, yo, I got the studio, I got these Italian niggas, they got the stew and shit, you just come down here. He met me down in the stew and we did the joint, um, how many niggas gonna ride for me? Yeah, how many yeah, niggas yeah. gonna die for me? Yeah. I wanna know, I need to know. We did that and we killed it and we need another verse. So he called Sparks and at the time me and Sparks did not like each other. Like You knew I, him? I didn't know him, but from me seeing him, I didn't like how he acted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he was he was he was little and real cocky and bossy, <laughs> and his face was always twisted up and shit. Yeah. I'm like, who the fuck is this little nigga? I don't like this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. And he looking at me like, so we didn't like it now, but we gonna get to the shit. But yeah, yo, yeah. uh, so he's like, yo, I'm gonna call Sparks, put Sparks on it. So we went and looked for this nigga. He was in the bar. We went down 52nd and Lancaster. Went and grabbed this nigga out the bar, brought him the studio, and put him on the verse. So. We killed it. We got the song now. These I'm back in the hood. I'm still in the hood. I don't know Dame Dash nobody. These niggas take the song up to Rockefeller uh-huh. and let Dame hear it. And uh, they called me. They're they like, yo, we let Dame Dash hear that joint. He liked that joint. I was like, seriously? He's like, yeah, he said he want to meet you, crack. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. They're like, for real, man, I'm going to set it up. So like a month went by and shit. And I'm like, man, fuck that shit. I, I never let niggas get me hyped up ever. Got you, yeah. Because yeah. I, because I've been through that shit for so the many years yeah. that I never would, I never would believe anything until I see that shit in my lap. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Sparks called me one day. He was like, "Yo, crack, um, everybody, y'all, I'm in Miami, crack." That, me and Sparks had got cool after yeah, we yeah, did yeah, yeah. something. I'm about to say, yeah, he's he like, "Yo, I hate each other." No, no, I hate him initially, but okay, we got yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. That's my brother now. You know Sparks saying? is like, I like Sparks energy a lot though. He yeah. bring the energy to the crew in my opinion. Now, hell yeah. He got yeah. a lot of personality. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, he called me. He called me. He's like, yo, crack. Um, We out on um, Miami. Um, 
everybody y'all here, man. Dame said he want to meet you, man. You think you get a plane ticket? If you get a plane ticket, we we got a little apartment. You can sleep on the couch. Yeah. I never been on a plane before. You know what I'm saying at that, at that time. time. Damn. You know what I'm saying I never been. I never been as far as uh. I think New York was the furthest I've ever been out of Philadelphia. You know what I'm wow. saying. So um, the um the Italian boys that I knew, the two Italian boys that was managing uh-huh. me with the stool. One of them was the little brother. He was the cool nigga. The other one was a real estate investor. He always had bread. You know what I'm saying? The boy Lou. Always was eating since I ever met him. Always owned like beachfront houses in Lank City and shit. He'll bomb, freak him out, flip so he, him. So he booked you a fight. I called out. I was like, yo, Lou, man, I just talked to um, Emilio Sparks from uh, Rockefeller. He told me that uh, Dane Dash want to meet me, man. I need a plane ticket, man. He said, yo, Pete, give me like, give me like five minutes. Call you right back. I'm sitting in the kitchen in my grandma's crib and shit. And he called me right back. He's like, yo, pack pack a bag. I'm about to come get you. I'm going to drop, take you to the airport. Like right like right you know, now? Like, just like that. I'm like, oh, shit. I go upstairs and shit. I tell my grandma. I was in my grandma's crib. I'm like, grandma. She was sleeping shit. She's like, huh? I said, grandma. I said, grandma, I'm about, to, I'm about to fly to Miami real quick. She's like, what? But my grandma was always um, on my ass about doing this because she watched me. I've been rhyming since I was like 11, 12 years old. She watched uh-huh. me as, all through the years rhyming in the house and rap. She know how I feel about rap. Taping Rap City and shit. Yo, MTV Raps. And yeah, yeah, real, yeah, yeah, real yeah, yeah. serious about my shit. She used to call me like, yo, your show on and all that shit. So she knew. So this was big for her. To her, she knew what it meant to me. So... um. I was like, Grandma, about to go, man. You know the white boys? He got me a plane ticket. I'm out. To, he about to pick me up right now. I'm just letting you know I'm leaving. She's like, Go ahead, go, do it. You know what I'm saying? He picked me up, nigga. Ill, this nigga Lou, ill as shit. He picked me up, um, took me to the airport, had my ticket and everything printed mm. out right, and gave me four hundred bucks real quick. Like, For your huh, pocket, man. yeah. He's like, huh, hold this. I'm, I got to situate some shit. I'm gonna come out there in like two days with you. You know what I'm saying? So I get out there, I fly out there and shit, and um. When I got the we got the Miami, I got on Tim's and um James and shit. It's hot, <laughs> hot as, as fuck shit. out there. Yeah. Niggas is out there looking like fucking uh Miami Don Vice Johnson and Miami Vice. Yeah, 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 Niggas yeah. got on flip flops and flower polo shirts and shit. Um, my man Sparks, uh, I caught the cab to the little condo and shit and we in there, we in there chill. So I ain't see nobody else. I ain't know what else was going on with nobody else. I'm just in there with Sparks, me and O drinking forties and shit. Oh, drinking 40s in Miami. Oh, yeah. Damn. We OE in it in Miami. So all of a sudden, um, we got drunk. We lamping around. Then somebody just called up to the um, roomies and like, yo, everybody meet downstairs. Um, we about to go to the studio. Uh, we saying that shit. The, um, the Jamaican niggas that sang um, Circle House. Okay. Circle House Studio, right? I, in I'm, Miami. The I'm, niggas I'm, that sang Bad Boy for cop. For the yeah, cop yeah, show. yeah, yeah, yeah. In a show. circle. In a circle. In a circle. In a studio called Circle, circle House. House. Yeah. Okay, okay. So they're like, yo, we all going to the Circle House and shit. So um, nobody else know I'm there. Freeway, nobody. So um, all of a sudden, I go downstairs in the lobby with Owen Sparks. I see Free, and he's like, yo, Crack, how you get here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm here, nigga. So anyway, uh, we all shoot to the stool. I'm nervous as shit. I'm seeing all these motherfuckers that I'm used to seeing on TV. On TV, TV. now they're in I front of you. Jay. I never met Memphis Bleak before. I never seen Dame Dash before. Um, I think Mariah Carey was there. Damn. It was like random motherfuckers chilling in the stool. Trick Daddy and shit was there. So I'm just fucked up. I'm on, I'm just tripping. Like I just came from the block. Dog. Yeah, yeah. Drinking forties in Miami with, I mean, with Tim's on. Literally, like eight hours ago, I was down third in Nars with the bud. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. On the corner. So now I'm in Miami Beach right now, and this shit was fucking me up. So anyway, um, uh, Beans peeped it. Everybody heard the song. Everybody knows the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. all know. They're like, yo. So Beans peeped it. He's like, oh, shit. What's up, man? What's up, Crack? He said, hold on one second. He went over to Dane, and uh, and I knew that. I could tell, man, that, that's, that's what was going on. Yeah. I'm on the other side of the room, and I could see them talking. But as they talking, you know niggas talking about you. Yeah, you know yeah, saying? yeah. I'm yeah. standing up against the wall, but I could see them just, just like, they, he all just yeah, yeah. Looking over and shit. So I'm like, all right. This nigga Dame just start coming towards me and shit. I'm like, yo, I, I, already, I already know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? He about to come fuck with me about this shit. He came out. He's like, yo, can I hold you for a quick, homie? And we went in the um, hallway and shit. He's like, yo, um, you PD Crack? I said, yeah, man. He's like, that's you on that song? I said, yeah. 
He's like, yo, that's crazy, man. I like that song, man. He's like, yo, I want you to be a part of my family, man. How you feel about that? I was like, how I feel <laughs> about that, man. I was like, what's that, like a trick question, man? He's like, all right, cool, man. You got a lawyer? I was like, no, I ain't got no you lawyer. You ain't got shit. He's yeah. like, yo, you need to get a lawyer, man. He's like, yo, take my number down, man. Took his number down and shit. I went, I told, I, he he just dipped, you know, he fast talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, all right, all right, homie, uh, have fun. He's like, yo, just have fun out here, man. Enjoy yourself. Welcome to Rockefeller. Now, can you imagine, like, there's something I was trying to do forever, dog. And Freeway ain't help you, man. Nah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Freeway. Sorry. Freeway help, nigga. But I like it in yeah, 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 yeah. But I understand. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 you don't yeah. shit to worry about. But anyway, um, uh, he just dipped on me. Dame just walked away. And yo, when he walked away, I was keeping my cool while he was dead. But when he walked away, I had the little flip phone, you know, the little small flip phone. Yeah, the little Nokia or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That little flip joint, I slid in the bathroom and shit. And I called my aunt, because my aunt was like my sister when I was a kid. She was real young. Yeah, hold on, Micah. We, we yeah. was like this. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Man, I was real tight. She was by, we was tight as shit. But she was my aunt, but she yeah, was like yeah, my yeah, sister. Yeah, 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 yeah. I called her first and shit because she would always be rooting for me and shit. Like when I had little shoes and shit, she'd buy me sneaks and shit. Like, you need some sneaks. You know what I'm saying? She always be trying to push me forward and encourage me. I called her first. I'm like, yo, hey, Nat. She's like, what's up? What you doing, Pete? I said, I'm in Miami. She's like, no, you ain't. I'm like, yo, I swear to God, I'm in Miami right now. She's like, yo, what you doing in Miami? I said, yo, I just talked to Dame Dash, Nat. It's like get the get the fuck out of here! Like, I swear to God, yo, he just he just signed me to Rockefeller. She was like, get the fuck out of here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like yeah. yo, I swear to God, Nat, she ain't believe me for shit. So anyway, I'm out Miami. We having fun. My, my white boy came out there and shit, and uh, we was just enjoying Miami, uh, coastal California, and uh. Clevelanders and shit and all the little diners. I never been. I don't know I, shit about I, none of that. I never but even I've been never there. seen this kind of shit before. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? I've never been on oceanfront driving shit and wet willies. And I'm, this is amazing to me. Like, my, I felt like my life begun. Right there. You know what I'm saying? In before Miami. that, I had a whole different life. I just came out of halfway houses and shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, keep getting booked for for the burner, for the crack. And I'm just in the, in the hood. This My whole life just. Just spun around like in one day. So, so all right, you you signed mm -hmm. with Rockefeller. What was your first interaction with Jay Z? Um, my first interaction because it because everybody paint the picture of him like he don't really fuck with niggas. He stayed to himself. Mm -hmm. What was your first interaction where he acknowledged you as PD Crack? Honestly. It was weird with Jay, man. In the beginning, he was giving me a real hard way to go. <laughs> he really was. He would never really um, talk to me, and um, he would never really interact. He would always make it real quick, like, yo, what's up, homie? What's up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dip. But um, at some point, I don't know when, what point it changed for him. I don't know where and when it happened. But at some point, he, this nigga started calling my phone and shit, and he's like, yo, Pedro. Wow. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. He's like, yo, what you doing, man? You hungry? Meet me downstairs, man. We in the, we about to go get something to eat and shit like that. We all in the hotel and shit on the Rock the Mic tour and shit okay, like that. Okay, okay. And he started fucking with me and then um, it started getting iller because uh, after he, um, when he started talking to me, when he started having conversations and I got, to, he got to see like my, my real personality and uh, you know what I'm saying? Like what type of person I am, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, he took a real liking to it and, uh, we would talk like for hours, dog. Like I would go in the meeting to talk to him real quick with the managers and shit, and he'd just be like, "Yo, no disrespect or nothing, but can y'all excuse us for a second and kick everybody out the room and shit." And then we'd just be busting it up, and I'd be telling him about random shit. Like I got video on TV, right? So I'm still in Philly, but I'm on TV. All the goons is on some bullshit. Definitely, like, niggas is trying. To Run in my crib, home invasion, shit. I'm out had to smoke all these niggas. I could have killed all these niggas, but I let them slide because they was they was they, they fucked up. They was fucking with my door, and I was woke at like four in the morning. And I had two, I had two ratchets. My man left a ratchet over my crib, and I had my joint. So um, they was trying. I, I had a, the joint with a mailbox and shit right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see the nigga trying to put his hand to, to get... grab the knob. So I adjusted myself. At the step, just so I could get him, so I could get good. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? But when they get the door open, and um, I clicked the joint back. I clicked the, uh, and I could control the lights too. So I hit the light, 
and they saw the light come on and I could hear them I could hear niggas running and shit. So I ran the to the window. I ran to the window. Yeah. When I ran to the window, they was stuck. Like they was right in front of my house. Like I looked down and they was looking up. They was like, and I yeah. and I just looked, I was like, yo, I'm not about to let the make the block hot. Like I live on this little street. Everybody know I live here. I can't do that. So anyway, I'm telling Jay this story. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm telling him all the stories is going, all the bullshit. And he would always pay attention to everything I was saying. So he was cool, man. He was all right with me, man. I never really had nothing bad to say about him. You know what I'm saying? Till the end. I mean, that was me just, uh, <laughs> you know, that was that was. I mean, all right. So, so, all right. You were on Rockefeller. Mm -hmm. We go, we'll come back to the Jay Z thing, but you were on Rockefeller. State property is buzzing. Um, Y'all do an album. Uh. Yeah, well, I mean, it didn't go that smooth though. though like, That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, like it, it didn't go that smooth, man. It um, what happened was uh, I was recording a lot of songs and stuff, um, and quiet, right? But uh, I had got locked up again. Oh, on Rockefeller. Oh, okay. but I was on the run the whole time that I when I got signed. Cause you ran from the halfway house. I didn't run from the halfway house. I ran from my PO because I kept, okay. I gave her a hot urine and she kept fucking with me. So I just said fuck it and I just. Never reported again. So I was on the run for like three years. So we was on tour and shit. And it was certain places that I couldn't go because I had no passport. And my name, I couldn't take the chance. They would flag your name. Them running my name and shit. So uh, I had stayed in this hotel and I, I, um, I overslept. And the people was banging on the door who ran the joint and they had to call the police. And the po they, they popped the lock. So when they pop the lock, they come in, they like, yo, what's wrong with you, man? You all right, man? Damn, you your ass in the door? I'm like, yo, my bad, my bad. He's like, what's your name? And I'm like, damn, I can't tell these niggas my name and shit. I made up some bullshit. I gave him, I was like, Khalil Shills. <laughs> but I had my, um, my fucking mail that I used to grab from my people's Christmas. Yeah, 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 my yeah, mail. yeah, yeah. And he looked, it was on the table. He's like, yo, who Pedro Zayas? <laughs> so he ran that shit. He ran Pedro's ass. She came back one. He's like, "Yo, stand up for me real quick, homie." Turn around. I was like, "All right." Yeah. So you got anything in here? I was like, "Yeah, I got a gun in my bag." <laughs> you had a gun in the bag. Yeah, he gonna find it anyway. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know yeah, 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 yeah. I was just studying. I was like, "Yeah, I got a gun in the duffel bag right there, dog." So fuck it. So I got pinched. So all my music that was in the um. I had to sit for like, I only sat for like seven months for that joint, but this was right around the time when shit was rocking. So I couldn't, it was a bad time. So I had all this music, so I just was allowing niggas to take the music. So I let Beans take Flatline. That was my song. Okay. Um, I let him take Got to Have It. That was my dope, song. Dope, yeah. Um, I let them take G-A-M-E. Uh, yeah, G-A-M-E yeah. with Season uh -huh, on It. Uh -huh. That was for my album. Um, Temporary Relief. They took all my shit. For but the I album. Didn't, I didn't give a fuck. At the time, I, I was taking any shine I could get, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, yo, can you get this song? Yeah, take it. You about to put it out? Yeah, take that shit. Play it. Bang it. So anyway, uh, I did my little tick. And when I came home, the State Property album was out. And I didn't really realize that I was becoming a star. You know what I'm saying? In the hood. I didn't realize it. You know what I'm saying? Well, you should have realized the niggas tried to rob your crib, right? Um. Well, that, that was a different little time okay, with okay. that. But um, when I came home, I, I remember uh, I was just down my grandma block, regular shit, just down the way. But a car would drive by and be playing, uh, one car would be playing temporary relief and shit. And my man was like, yo, yeah, she shit, crowd. Like, yeah, that's what's up. They got that shit out here. He's like, yeah, niggas banging that shit. So then another car would drive by playing temporary relief. I'm like, damn, niggas fucking with that shit. And then another car. My man was like, yo, crack, this the shit right yeah, now, yeah, dog. Yeah, you yeah, the yeah. shit, dog. You don't know it. I'm like, yo, sis, I'm the shit right now. Yeah, I'm the like, shit? Yo, yeah, yeah. yo, you the shit, dog. You the shit right now. You killed the um Chain Gang album, dog. It's out. Niggas fucking with it. And then it just that's when it just got ill. And I don't know, something happened, man, to me when I um when I when I gained that confidence, when I when I seen that um when when I had that when I had that certification, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like it felt certified when it felt like that. Um is this weird momentum just took over me and I just started um just making so much music and with so much confidence. One, you know what one I'm for Petey. How the mm -hmm. fuck did that come about? That's my favorite record, man. All right, then check this out. And, dog. and I know you was mad as fuck because y'all paid too much for that beat, you said? Um 
no, I ain't trip. Megahertz did that beat, right? Nah, or D Dot? D Dot, I think you see you paid a hundred thousand for that beat. You you did an interview where you was mad. I mean, I didn't pay shit. Yeah, yeah, but you was mad. The Def Jam, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, a- I I was mad because um my budget was only was like six hundred thousand. Yeah, and that was a hundred. And that took a cool bean out my shit <laughs> yeah, for the rip. Yeah. So I, I Dope ass song like, though. All right, but check this shit out, though, doggy. Niggas is going to be mad and shit about this, but I really don't give a fuck. You, know you ain't saying? supposed to. There's no filter. So check it out. Um, When I had got signed to Rockefeller, uh, everybody else was famous besides me yet. They didn't know me yet. Nobody knew me yet. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, a new, yeah. Nobody even knew what I looked like or nothing. You probably hear the name. Like, yo, PD Crack, they signed it. But nobody knew me yet. I had no video or none of that shit. So, excuse me. I had previously did one for PD Crack the song at the Italian Boy Studio. Oh, that was an old record. With me, Free, and Five. Okay, that's the first time we did it. But, but you it, didn't have that beat though, right? No, yeah, I had the beat. Oh wow, it was that beat. Wow, one for PD Crack, Crack and, and two for Free. But it was yeah. a, we had the, the the shit was a little more catered to for us. And yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I performed it one night. This boy named uh, what the fuck was his nigga named Coriac? Coriac from Philly. He's uh-huh. a DJ. So he said these little ciphers and shit. So I performed it there and um Coriac and Cameron was tight. You know what I'm saying? It was uh-huh. cool. So Cameron was in there in the cut. You know what I'm saying? The cut just in there, just peeping shit. So he seen my performance and uh I guess he got my number from Corey. Cause the next day, uh, I got a call, like a 718 or a 917 number. No, that's New York. And yeah, I'm like, hello. He like, yo, what's up, man? I'm like, who this, man? He's like, yo, this killer, man. Oh, like, it's Cam. He's like, yeah, man. I was like, what's up, Cam? What fucks with you, man? I love Cam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. been a big Cam fan yeah, yeah. forever. How could you not? How could you, know you not? You know what I'm saying? Be? Since, uh, what was that drink? The Confessions of Fire yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, that was yeah, my yeah. shit. So anyway, he's like, yo, crack. Yo, what's that song you did last night where you be like, the Mac goes, ring? Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, that's one for PD Crack. He's like, y'all fucks with that, man. He's like, yo, you should let me do that with you, man. Mm. I was like, hell yeah, nigga, fuck yeah. I ain't, I never been on those, those record with a, like a nigga big like that. Yeah, you know yeah, saying? platinum artist yeah. already. So he was like, all right, cool, man. When you come up to New York, man, come to Baseline and uh and bring the beat. And we going, I'm going to do it over with you, man. So I came up there. I hit him. I was like, okay, man, I'm at Baseline. He came through and shit. Um, Actually, when I got there, he was leaving. I was like, okay, I got the joint. He's like, yo, it's cool. Just load it up. Do your verse and shit. Leave it there. I got you. So, um. Uh, the very next day, I come back to the studio and uh, um, I'm like, yo, y'all got the joint? The Cam do the joint? They're like, yeah, everybody got on that shit. Crack. It's Cam, Jewels, Sparks, and Beans. So I listened to it and shit. And I was really excited and shit and happy. You know what I'm saying? Because I was proud. So uh, while I'm listening to it, <laughs> this was shit get ill at. While I'm listening to it, Jay walk in the room. It's just me, Jay, and the and the engineer. So Jay, like, yo, what's that shit? I was like, it's some new shit I just did, Jay. You know what I'm saying? I just be get real nervous when this nigga came around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, that's some new shit, man. I knew I was a kid and yeah. shit. He like, let me hear it. So my verse come on, and then as soon as Cam come on, Jay Jay tapped the engineer like, like, yo, 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 stop that, stop that, yo, delete that shit. No bullshit. I, like, I swear to God, dog. My heart dropped. He's like, yo, delete that shit. I'm looking like, what the fuck? He's like, yo, delete that shit, man. Get this, get them niggas off. Get that nigga off of there. Nigga deleted that shit. And he said, some flash it to me. Yo, man, what's up, kid? Do, do your own thing, man. Just walked out the room and I was just sitting there stuck like. So. Fuck. So, all right. Let, let's, let's, let's paint the picture. Hold up, dog. Hold up, dog. <laughs> let's paint the picture. Cameron, do the verse for you. Yeah. And Jay Z walk in the studio day, and say, "Take that shit off." Told the boy, um, the engineer boy, little Haitian or what? What the niggas is out there? What? What is um? It was what you call people. What's in it? Bigs. What's Bigs? Bigs from uh, I don't know what uh, them, they, them niggas. I let yeah, you know the niggas. niggas like that. That's what I'm yeah, 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 Anyway, this nigga like a weird foreign nigga though. Yeah, the yeah, engineer yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. So he told the niggas like, "Yo, Jay, he's like, yo, delete that shit, man." And that <laughs> nigga like deleted that. it right there. He just deleted the shit. And I'm fucked, man. I'm like, yo, nigga, you just crushed my whole what I'm shit. T- but but well, are you thinking what I'm going to tell Cam, though? No, I, I was thinking whether if I should tell Cam or not. Um, but at the time, man, it was so ill for him to even do that for me, man. I felt like it was my duty to tell him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. felt on some real nigga shit, and I like Cam. But um, he, he did. That was an ill thing for him to do for me. And... 
And Cam got that person. You fuck with Cam? Hell yeah, I fuck he got with Cam. ill. He's just an ill Cam nigga. Cam is a good dude, a thorough dude. Oh, yeah. he, rem- he remind me of one of my niggas from down north, yeah, down yeah, the yeah, way. Yeah. So anyway, um, uh, I ain't know whether to tell him or not, but it was like a couple of days later. I'm standing at the Metropolitan, and I'm about to fly to L.A. to meet up. The whole state property already in L.A. I don't know why. For some reason, I was still in um New York. Mm-hmm. So this girl Sherry from Rockefeller called me. Yo, PD, um. I thought she was calling me, telling me the car was downstairs to take me to the airport. She was like, Petey, um, hold on for one second. I got Cam around on the phone. He want to talk to you. She's like, oh, shit. Right. Yeah. So Cam like, yo, what's up, Crack? You cool, man? I said, yeah, I'm good, man. He's like, no, I just want to holler at you, man. Um, I'm going to let you know, man. You know Dame, me and Dame tight, and they gave me this little position up here. He's like, yo, man. If you everybody love you on this side, all these all the whole dip set, man. If you whenever you welcome, man, you welcome to come over here with us if you want. So man. so meaning that leave state property and come to Dipset. Well, at the time I wasn't officially on state property yet. So you got signed to Rockefeller, not I got state signed property. to Rockefeller okay, Def yeah. Jam. Okay, okay. And then they finagled me in there some way, but I, I just was like an artist on Rockefeller Def Rockefeller. Jam. Okay. Just so happened I'm from Philly with the state prop niggas. You Makes know what I'm saying? So uh um Cam, he like, yo, come over here. And while he was doing, showing so much love and shout out, like, yo, Cam, I got to tell you something, dog. Yo, <laughs> I was in the studio yesterday with Jay, man. I played the song for him, yo. He deleted you off the <laughs> shit, man. Damn. He deleted you off the joint. And he ain't had no reaction to that shit. He's like, yo, man, crack, man, don't worry about that shit, man. Just get your money, man. Just get your bread, man. So I, I said, all right, man, appreciate you. So anyway, I'm about to dip. He called me back again. He's like, yo, crack, matter of fact, where you at? I said, I'm about to go to the airport. He's like, yo, come to um to uh baseline real quick. I'll holler at you. Tell the driver, yo, take me down 28th and 8th. I think that's where that shit at. So I slide up and Cam hop out the beam and he like, he like, yo, crack, come here real quick. Come here, I gotta show you something. He take me in the um stew. He had the shit on CD. He burned his own, he burnt the copy before the before it got deleted. So he had it. He had it. And he gave me a copy of it. Wow. He gave me a copy of this shit. So who the fuck got this copy? You Check it out. It? No, he put it, um, uh, what's my man name? Um, what's my man name from, uh, that be having the straight stunt and shit right now. Oh, K Slay. I'm sorry, K. I'm sorry. K Slay, the big respect. I'm a little. The homie K Slay. I'm a little, little groovy Jack, right now. He got a little Jack. Yo, my yeah. whole my whole interview is all scared. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, we try to. We, yeah, anyway, it, but it y'all, is what it is. doggy up pieces together though, man. I just gotta nah, take this shit. shit. Look, look, look. This shit going out how it's going. Gotta out. take the shit. Come. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, but check it. Um, he put it on the K Slay John. Okay. It's on the K Slay. So that was a you official remix. You can YouTube the shit. The shit will come up. Okay. So anyway, though, it's before it came out. He had the CD. He's like, yo, huh, man, yo, don't worry about that shit, crack. Huh, take the CD. I had the CD, yo, and I banged the shit the whole way to um to fucking to LA, right? So I get to LA, um, car service take me to the hotel, and I go to the front desk and shit. I'm like, yo, um, can you tell me where you know Neef and Chris, well, who where they rooms at? We all together and shit. I'm Pedro Zayas. She said, Oh, Mr. Zayas, they in this room, that room. So I go to their room, they all in this one big room playing the game and shit, smoking. So I got the CD, I'm excited. I put it on. I put it in the little radio, the little uh, this joint in the uh-huh, hotel room. Uh-huh. I put it. I put it in the play. I like yo. I did this this joint, man. You check it out. It came in the morning, and when I played it, yo, this nigga Beans got up, yo, and ejected the shit, yo, and broke the shit in half. Yo. Did you your last copy? I swear to God, <laughs> yo, everything was going. Yo, it made me so rebellious towards everybody. I'm like, yo, everybody else some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga yeah. broke the CD and shit. So that's the story behind uh, Marvin Beanie Crack. All right, crack. so, so, all right, so, did you know it was tension with Cameron? I never it? knew, man. I never knew what was going on. I didn't. You don't know what it was over. What I was it over? I never knew what the problem was, man. I swear, I never knew what the problem was between them. I thought we was all squad because we would all be in the studio together. Um, Bleak homies was cool. G to K and all of them. They G to shout out to G to K. And yeah. then I fuck with Jewels and Jim yeah, and yeah, them yeah, was yeah. always be there. And I used to go to Harlem and chill with them. So I thought everybody was squad. I'm just coming from Philly. We didn't know it was yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, one this one I knew it was ill because uh we had this early morning photo shoot for Rockaway and um uh, I was there on time but I was sick and shit because I was like doing mad shit like I was popping mad pills syrup and shit I like went too hard the night before and I was like throwing up and shit so anyway my brother Peanut he passed away but he was with me and um he's trying to get me together he had like cold rag on my face but I had to burn on me right yeah so um Jewel's come by himself. 
and he chilling crack what up what up and he's smoking and shit we talking then all them bleaking like like 30 niggas come in all of these uh, get low niggas is in there so they they slide in and me and me and L sitting talking at the table smoking and shit I'm not paying it no mind Bleak homie start walking by just just giving us the, the straight grizzly like yeah so I'm like L what the fuck is up with these what's, what's up with these niggas? what's going on he's like man I don't worry about this shit this and that so one of one of bleak homies walk by and kind of like mumbled some shit and did some shit. So I got offended because I'm like I'm like I'm like yo, what's going on? Like like if you don't fuck with homie, you talk to homie, but don't keep don't be giving me all the grizzly and shit. I ain't got no I don't know y'all niggas. I ain't got no problem with y'all. So I tap bleak. I was like yo, bleak, what's up with your man? Bleak was like yo, man, don't worry about that shit. It ain't got nothing to do with you, crack. It's something else, man. With, with them niggas, man, ain't no big deal. I said, but your man, he keep looking at me crazy. So he called homie over. He's like, yo, man, crack family, dog. It ain't nothing personal, crack. It's all good. Y'all shake it out and shit. Boy gave me a fake ass handshake and shit. So I was, I was offended. I go back to the table and shit, and I told, I was like, I was like, yo, Els, I showed him the slammer. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, if any of these niggas get goofy in here, dog, I, I got <laughs> you, all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. God, trust me, I got you. So I always was paying attention to that shit at the time. So anyway, what was the, what was the question? The, the, no, no. So so y'all do the video. I mean, y'all do the photo shoot. The the rock of that's when you figured. That's when you saw attention. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Bleak kept it G with me. Shout out to Bleak. Definitely kept it G because I didn't know what was going on. He was like, he's like, yo, crack, man. Yo, um, it's a lot of it's a lot of bullshit going on right now, man. And um, this shit about to be over with. I'm like, about to be over with? What the fuck you talking over with? He's like, yo, man, yo, these niggas about to they about to break up and sell this shit, dog. It's about to be done. I'm like, seriously? He's like, yeah, you know that, dog? He's like, yo, crack, man. Tighten up, man. It's about to be a dunya, man. Rockefeller about to Rockefeller. be. Rockefeller. I'd never had a clue. We were touring and videos and shows and shit he's like yo flat out like yo shit about to be done man niggas about to sell that shit they breaking up it's gonna be done and just like how that happened that's exactly what happened so jay but hold on let's let's take it back jay-z show up for flip side though that was in philly that was previously before the breakup okay but was you surprised when he came to your video shoot um yeah, hell yeah. That nigga was in on seven. Cause you say, cause you said Yo. his you said his name in the song. I was this like, This oh, nigga, shit. this nigga, this this was this was the irony of this shit. We shot that video on the same block that we was selling crack on, me and Free. Wow. That's our block. That was shot on Seventh and Montgomery. The same block we grew all grew up on since we was kids. So the whole hood was so proud of us. Like you know what I'm saying, like they watched us come from the corner and they 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 actually like we they stars in the hood. You know what I'm saying the whole yeah, 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 whole yeah. North Philly was there for that video. So anyway, we we about to shoot and then I just hear all this commotion. You know what I'm saying out of nowhere, like this shit just got radical. And they're like, "What the fuck is that?" It's because this nigga Jay um, pulled up. Nigga Jay pulled up and he came on the block and he was he got in the video with us down north, right in the hood. So that was ill. So all right. Let's let's speed it up a little bit. Um, Rockefeller's breaking up, right? Um, state property is in limbo. Mm -hmm. Beanie's going to jail. Mm -hmm. um, o and Beanie been like beefing since back then. And Forever, shit. yep. Um, that's going on. Freeway is trying to go to G Unit. Around that time, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Freeway's uh -huh. trying to go to G Unit. Yeah. But you supposedly gonna stay on Rockefeller when this shit is broken up. You were supposed to be like the new face of Rockefeller. You do the joint with Neo. Yeah, let me tell you how it went. Go ahead. This is how it went. All right, so when they broke up, my lawyer called me. He was like, yo, check this out. Um, right now you're in a great place, bro. You got um they breaking up, but fuck that. You only gotta owe them nothing and you could go wherever you want because in your contract it stated that if all the members that own the, that own the company, uh -huh. they was able to separate, the contract is void. Wow. So now you back a free agent and you got a song on the radio and you got video and you got name. You go to any label, you get a whole new check and everything. So we was I was just open for whatever. I like, yo, I can do whatever the fuck I want. So um excuse me. I got a call from Dame Dash. He was like, yo, can we have can we talk, man? What's up? What you gonna do? So I, I go to have a meeting and shit. This is the illest shit, yo. I see. I don't really don't give a fuck because I don't know these motherfuckers no more. 
You know what I'm saying? They uh-huh. don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? And to I don't want to fuck to this day. Wow. And no no disrespect and nothing like that, but what it is what it is. And I got a lot of people that I don't fuck that don't fuck with me. And if you don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you either. Whatever, so, yeah. Um, so Dame had called me, like, yo, let's have a meeting, man. So they bring me into uh the Universal Building. Remember that they, they, they had the shit had up Dame in? Yeah, Dame Dash Music Group at the yeah. time, right? So they bring me in there. It's uh it's Big Face Gary, Bigs. Dame and Dame Uncle Darren. Okay. Remember that nigga Darren? Nah, I don't know. I don't know. He was like a secretary type shit. I don't know what it. Anyway, um, they try to get me drunk and shit, <laughs> and right? Sign you <laughs> and try to. They try to. I peeped it though, but at the time, I was doing so much drugs that you can't even get me drunk. Like you know what I'm saying, yeah, like yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, always yeah. fried. You know what I'm saying? So. They like they like they like they pulling out bottles of Armadillo. That shit was disgusting. Armadillo sucks. <laughs> Damn, it was it, that shit never tastes good. So I never they, that it's shit. hot, it's hot, and there's a whole body. They like hunt, crack, hunt everybody bottles, and I'm peeping like fuckers. We never did this before, nigga. Bottles, yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? So we drinking it. Like, come on, drink, man. Toast and all that shit. So uh, we drinking and drinking, but it's not affecting me at all. So now they want to have me that. All right, done now. Can we talk now? They're like, yo, man, what you going to do, man? You gonna stay with us, man, or you uh, or what you gonna do, crack? I said, yo, man, I like you, Dame. You know what I'm saying, I like being here with you. I do, cause man, Dame was ill as shit, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. look, this is the thing. Don't get it fucked up. I got my own personal uh feelings about things and my approach with shit, but it never. I'm not trying to take nothing away from none of these niggas. Yeah, yeah, you know they saying? was ill at uh, what they do. Dame was the illest, man, and he and he um he took. He gave me a great opportunity, you know what I'm saying? And he gave me more opportunity and a little favoritism over a lot of other motherfuckers. Wow. I had a video. I was the last one to get signed. I had a video before a lot of niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He shot yeah. one for PD Crack. Like, I, I got, like, a couple months later that I got signed. So, anyway, uh, they ain't like, yo, what you going to do, man? I said, yo, listen, check this out, man. I love, I, I fucks with you. You know we fuck with each other, dog. Uh, I fuck with Biggs. You know what I'm saying? Biggs always was ill and thorough and always communicate. You know what I'm saying? Biggs was the one you could talk to. He seemed like the nigga that don't talk to nobody, but No, nah, Biggs, he 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 the easiest one to talk to. Cause he don't got no uh ain't no flashy or no uh um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. No ego with he's him. He's just a regular person. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. can have a regular conversation yeah, with him yeah, without yeah, the yeah. without the speed shit. So anyway, um I said I fuck with y'all, but this is the thing, man. All right, I know y'all y'all breaking up and all that shit. You know I could go somewhere else and go get another check, man. So if you could cut me a check, yeah, I'll stay here with you. But if you can't cut me a check, man, let me go somewhere else and get this bread, man. I'm trying. I could get like a bean right now out of somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, and the bean is a hundred thousand, right? Easy, right? At that yeah. time, yeah, because I got sixty out of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. With no, with nothing going on. But now I got flip side out and shit cracking. I could get a buck out of like fucking. I don't know. Somebody had that buck. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. For me, anyway. Um, whatever the number may be, but uh, um, he was he tried he offered me fifteen thousand, and at the time I was getting um, me and Freeway was doing shows for we was getting like seven, eight thousand, ten thousand a show, and some shows we some nights we do two shows a night. I was getting like twenty, twenty two, twenty five thousand a night. Yeah, so you like so you getting fifteen thousand? I was like, you know what, man? No disrespect, no offense. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate everything y'all did for me. And Biggs looked at me. He's like, yo, you don't mean that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so that's exactly what he said. He's like, yo, you don't mean that shit. With a straight face. But check it. They called Beans on the intercom. They thought he was supposed to like shake me up or some shit. I don't know. They called him. He's like, yo, hey, Mac, your man in here tripping, man. He's on the, uh, on the speaker. He's in Philly. He's like, ho, your man cracking here. He talking about he out, man. He wants some more money. Mac is like, yo, you out, crack. I was like, yeah, I'm out, man. They ain't speaking my language, man. He was like, yo, I had Bane's chain on his rock chain. He was like, all right, then give give Dane my chain. <laughs> Damn. Real shit. Give Dane my chain. So you never got your own chain. Yo, I never even went at that at that point, I was too fat. It, it ain't about the chain no more. My brain was somewhere else, like cause so many opportunities, different things was coming towards me. I was starting to get bigger than. Way bigger than what I started, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I started yeah, yeah. seeing other shit, you know what I'm saying? So I was, I took the chain off, gave the dame, shook everybody's hand. Um, I walked out of there with like with pride, like yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? I felt kind of good. And then, don't you know? Uh, as I'm walking down the hall, 
This nigga Dame uncle uh, ran out with the checkbook and was like, I think he said, uh, I think they offered me 10 and then he came back out and was like, yo, crack. They said they got 15. <laughs> you kept walking? I kept walking. <laughs> Y'all just kept walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway... I ran it. Just this shit just started happening like like uh like dom like a domino effect. Once that happened, I'm like a free agent. It's, I didn't feel like it was over. I still was confident that we had opportunity to go pretty much anywhere we do whatever we want to do uh -huh. because of the name and shit. And you know the fans don't know what's going on. Yeah, they still yeah, we was on that blind. wave. You know what I'm saying? So uh. We um, thought y'all grew up together and shit my, like that. My lawyer has saw Jay at a BMI publishing um party, uh -huh. right? Where all the little business niggas be at. Yeah. So he seen him and he's like, "Hey, how you doing, Jay? I'm I'm Bernie Resnick. I represent PD Crack." And Burn, uh, Jay was like, "Oh, word, that's what's up, man. What's up with Crack? What are you gonna do?" And he set a meeting up with Jay. Mm -hmm. Uh, and my lawyer called me. He's like, "Yo, I seen Jay Z, man." I, we gonna go see him on Monday. He wanna talk to you. So we go down there and uh and Jay had just became the president of Def Jam. You know what I'm saying? So Jay was like, uh, he's like, yo, I'm gonna tell him to keep a road with you crack. It was late night. It was just him and the secretary. He's in there by himself, like 10 o'clock at night in the building. So it's me and my, me and the white boys, Anthony and Louis Farlow, my white boys, you know what I'm uh -huh. saying? So uh Jay was like, yo, I'm going to keep it real busy with you, man. I'm going to be real with you. We had a meeting and shit, and we was trying to figure out what artist was going to go with who. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody wanted this artist, so-and-so wanted this artist when we were breaking up and shit. He said, but when your name popped up, um, Dame seemed real like uh, head up about keeping you. And I didn't want to make it seem like I was tug of war with you. But hey, from what you telling me, what happened, whatever, whatever, you don't want to be over there, then you're more than welcome to stay here, and, and I'll put the album out for you. And right, just like that, I'm right back on uh, Rockefeller. Rockefeller, just like that. So you signed again? I didn't sign again. He, I was like, yo, what I got to do? He's like, you ain't got to do nothing. I got your contract. It's the same contract. He kept the same contract. And he gave me he gave me like 40 more thousand to, um, to complete the project. He just kept giving me a lot of money, though. He did. Jay was busting the move. Like, he was okay. buying me. He was getting me little condos in Miami and shit and studio and... You know what I'm saying? Opening budgets up for me to do this and that to finish the project. Cause I was up to like uh I was up to like nine hundred thousand in um uh fucking budget. Budget, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throughout like five years or some shit. We all was fucking each other budget up. It wasn't even me. It's like if my budget opened and state property was like ten of us. We using my budget. I'm getting ten hotel rooms on my budget. Okay, so yeah. Every ten of everything, flights, everything. Out the course of the year, we used to do that to each other budgets. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Fuck each other budgets up. So it wasn't my whole nine hundred. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. I took, I had to take the rap for it. But um, I stayed with, I stayed with Jay, man. And then uh, Ty, Ty, I was in a meeting one time with Jay, and Ty was like, "Yo, crack, man. Um, when you done talking to Jay, I need, to, I got a song for you." So I'm like, "All right, cool. Let me hear it." He's like, uh, he played it for me, right? I said, "All right." I said, "Let me get the CD. I'm gonna go right to it." He said, "No, I need you to do it right now." And it was snowing and shit outside. It was the Neo song. Stay with me. Stay with me. He's like, this kid named Neo from uh from Vegas and shit. So he played. He, we went to uh, what's that studio around the corner from Quad? It's right around the corner. From I don't him. know, man. All right, I thought you'd be knowing this type I, of shit. I know. But, I know some of that shit sometimes. Now well, I'm just like, yeah. all right. Well, it's a little stool right around the corner from Quad. We okay. walked there from the building. So uh, they Guru was in there. He engineered it for me, and they played the uh some other joint. But then when he played the Stay with Me joint, um. You know, that's the sample from the Elder Barge song yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, stay with me. Yeah, and I'm a big Elder Barge fan, yeah, so yeah, yeah. automatically I just took straight to that joint. I was like, yo, I want to do this one. And um, I did the, you know, I did the Kayleen Day Mind shit yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it, they put it out, and the shit just started doing numbers on the radio. We shot the video, and the nigga album went like five times platinum and all that shit. What was that check like? Uh, it was only like eleven racks, but the but I got all my pub though. Okay, that's what I'm saying. What was that yeah. pub like? My pub still flowing. Okay, if I, you know it goes till I die. Oh yeah, okay. But the check was like eleven, but I needed that eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, cause I was in Miami <laughs> at the time, and I had like four hundred dollars to my name. Cause we, me and my man five, we was fucking that bread up. We was go to strip club every night, drink every night, fucking it up. And uh, I was down on my last four hundred, like five. We got like four hundred bucks. And they sent me that eleven racks from Neo Jones so right so you, back like this. So you do the Neo joint. Mm. Um, Neo come out. Def Jam is Jay Z is the president of Def Jam. Mm. But your album, 
album never come out. My album never come out, man. And I was working on it. It was. But Ill. was it a point where they said, "Yo, bro, your album ain't coming out"? Nah, it was never that point. That's what I didn't like. It's the only thing I didn't like how they handled that. Everything else, we had good communication and shit. But it got to some point where it's though. I used to call the, the label and a quick flag. I'm like, hello, yeah, Carlene, can speak to Jay. One second, Petey. Jay, yo, Craig, what's up? Easily. Now, all of a sudden, I can't even get Carlene on the phone. I'm like, yo, has anybody seen Carlene? Like, yo, we don't tell her to call you back. I'm like, oh, y'all, on that, they on that bullshit. They got corporate They got on, on that nut shit. Yeah, they did the bullshit. Yeah. So, oh. so, so, what, po- all right, is state property mad at you at this time? Because you stayed with Def Jam and everybody left? Um... Nah, we um it's just the thing, we we never got mad at each other about that. At at that point we kinda was like had each other back because it seemed like uh like all right, we ain't got that no more, but we still got each SP other. and yeah, we gotta a brand. we gotta keep this shit rolling for SP. Yeah. We never like got mad like oh crack you did this and crack you did that and all because the crack was always still available and always did. But even but, though Beanie was like, give me the chain back. For everybody. Yeah, even though we always had fights though, man. Yeah. And then he put the chain back on me and took it back <laughs> again and all that shit. It was, Yo, it was a point was where I think y'all niggas was fucking high and you was rapping and that nigga Beanie kissed you on your fucking cheek. He, the nigga did not kiss me on my cheek, yo. That nigga kiss you on the cheek? Fuck no, that nigga <laughs> kiss me on the cheek. You, you want to pull that shit off? No, he ain't going to pull it off. I know right what you talking yeah, yeah. about. Because everybody was going yo, crazy as a motherfucker on the listen. internet. Like, yo, that nigga kissed Petey Crack on the cheek. No, 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 I think did that. Mac told me who did that. I think Pharrell and them put that little faggot shit out there because Mac... Um, Say some shit about them niggas. Oh, okay. And they got offended. And I think they did that little freaky shit with the yeah, 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 put the yeah. little gay music behind it and shit. Yeah, you know what yeah, yeah. Nah, I ain't I ain't get I ain't yeah, get that deep um, into it. Yeah, man, I ain't uh, yeah, man. Yeah, anyway. Fuck no, it ain't baby and Wayne, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kissing her. Never kiss me, nigga. Never. So so all right. So Def Jam ain't putting your album out. You can't get Jay Z on the phone. You can't even get his right. his his personal secretary on hey, the phone. Carlene shitted on me. So, what do you you? That's when the camel hunting season came out. Like when did you know what cam- though? Honestly, to be real with you, I never I, that wasn't my idea. That camel hunting season shit. This is when my my space was out and shit. And um, I guess a fan or somebody knew that some shit was going on, and they he kept posting that picture. Um, the pack of cigarettes, the camels. Yeah. <laughs> no, he made it. He made it. It was like a Jay Z album cover, but he put the camel okay. instead of Jay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I never made that up. That wasn't my shit, but it kind of it kind of fitted at the yeah, time. You ran with it. And niggas just thought, so I was just like, all right, fuck it. But um, so so, what's the point? Because I remember he did an uh, interview with Angie Martinez, and he was like, he called me crazy. He called you crazy. Like, yeah, oh, I was man. locked up when he said that. My, my, I think my mom told me she was like, yeah, I read this thing. He called. He said you was a psycho. I think he meant crazy as far as like um, uh. I wouldn't comply, you know what I'm saying? And, and you no, know why? I, I, this is my honest opinion. Why I think he called me crazy because he seen so much that 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 I could have done. You know what I'm saying over the there? Was if crazy. I would have complied, you know what I'm saying? But I was so rebellious and I always would fight. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, "Yo, what's wrong? Is you crazy, nigga? Like you could yeah, be yeah, like yeah. crazy, dumb, rich right now if you just cut the shit." You know what I'm saying? That's what I think he meant by crazy because uh, I don't think he meant crazy because I never showed him that side. We always had civil conversations together. So so what's the point where Jay-Z just never talking to you again? Uh, I'm not exactly sure when, when it just... I don't know. I, it, it never stopped that way. It's just like... just. It just kind of like just 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 uh, faded away. Did you get a release though and everything, or are you still on Rockefeller right now? <laughs> no, I got a release. I got. Okay, a, I'm no, about to no, say you still on Rockefeller, my nigga. No, nigga? shout out Bernie Resnick. He okay. got me out of that shit. They was like, "Yo, we'll let him out only if he don't don't say nothing bad about uh, Def Jam." So it was like a little kind of thing. I had is to time up now or something. Or you I still, still I, was, I was talking shit right oh, after okay, that yeah. shit. <laughs> I was dissing them niggas left and right. Yeah. And, and then and then you you know you you threw um you, you had the cool was it the camels and you was walking around with the camels in your pocket the pack of cigarettes and shit like that yeah <laughs> the fuck I was being a dick man yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that was just I don't know yeah. I don't know what's going on I was going through a lot man I was about yeah, to go yeah. to jail I was, I was in and out of jail crazy around that time so I really wasn't giving a fuck you know what yeah, yeah 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 so all right let me ask you this question if they put Rockefeller back together right now. Mm. 
if Dame, Biggs, and Jay Z, because Biggs is with Jay Z, shock the shit out of all of us. Biggs yeah, is I'm with not really J- tuned in with what's going on with Biggs right is now. with Jay Z right with Jay. now. He's not with Dame. All right. If they was to put Rockefeller together and say, mm-hmm. "Crack, let's do it again," what would you do? I would do it, but I don't think they would call me. <laughs> they do not fuck with me, yo. They do the Made in America, uh, Chris Nee, Free. They all go perform there. Jay, don't, obviously, none of them fucks with me. Are you? Are and you, I'm fine with that. Are you blackballed? You think? I wouldn't call it blackball, nah, because you can't blackball me. Uh, ain't no such thing as blackball. Uh, you can only allow a person to blackball, blackball you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't understand what blackball means. Like, it's nothing Jay or any of them could tell fans that love me to death. The fans can stop fucking with yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't stop them from fucking with me. So, but I do you think they might have blocked certain situations in the industry? I don't think so. No, nah, I don't think they did that. No, nah. I never ran into that. Whereas though, I had a word like "yo's." We can't fuck with you, dog. Or this and that. I never yeah, had yeah, that. Yeah. I never felt that way. But they did. State property was 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 not on good terms with Jay Z. Mm-hmm. And then he does the B sides concert, and the whole state property is there, mm-hmm. but you're not there. What's I, it, the B side? What was that? It was it was the first time they reunited since the breakup, where the whole mm-hmm. state property was there. You just wasn't there. Right. So I was like, did Crack say fuck these niggas or did they just not call you? Uh, I think they assume. I think they was assuming that I'm not fucking with it. So they didn't even make an effort to call me because they so used to me not fucking with it. So so right now, if Jay-Z was to hit you and say, yo, let's do some shows, would you fuck with it? I definitely would do it. Yeah. OK. If he wants to do it. You know what I'm saying? OK. But I'm not coming knocking. I'm saying, like, if you don't want to fuck with me, that's, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But if niggas want to fuck with me, of course I'm going to come and fuck with a nigga. Even you know the little Rockefeller reunion shit with, with, with Blink. You, yeah. you fucked with that, right? Yeah, we did that. Yeah, we did yeah. that together, yeah. So. And Blink, they told me, though, they, like, uh, you know, Chris and Jay is real cool. And I do a lot of music with Chris. And Chris, Chris be with Jay. And he's like, yo, Craig, I played the drum for whole. If he liked the drum. I like yeah he liked it my part. <laughs> he's he's like, my yeah. part. He's like yeah he liked that joint. I like for real. He's like yeah he was tripping. He liked this shit. He didn't break the CD like he did Cam's shit. No, like no. Beans did Cam's Beans shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, let me ask you something else. Yo, Beans um, gonna be mad as shit at him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm just but Beans is in an G. interview recently with Aaron he might, niggas, and and he says so. Some, everybody, this is the thing. You know what? Don't know what I'm noticing. This is fine, man. Voice your opinion. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If that's how you feel, that's fine. All right? But we all got the... So now I'm a voice... We all voice can voice our opinion. Yeah, yeah, Are we yeah, grown yeah. men? I think it's more healthier for us to let it out and let a nigga know how you feel. You know what I'm and saying? Get, and so you could yeah. get some money. But... I said the holding shit. But in. I love you to death. You know what I'm saying? I love yeah. you to death. I'm never saying fuck that nigga and this and that. It's my brothers. They all my brothers. You know what I'm saying? And you just... And, you, and y'all just work together. I don't know if we could announce what y'all did. It might be too soon. Y'all get uh, the beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can't do it. Do yeah, 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 we can't do it yet. <laughs> right. But uh, we can't do it. But y'all, y'all worked on something that's yeah, gonna be. This it's dope. gonna yeah, be out, yeah. out soon. Was everybody there? Or was everybody there? wasn't there, man. There's only three of y'all, right? Um, it was it was four of us. Okay. Um, Chris and Oskino didn't come. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah. I seen Freeway Beans. Who was the other person? And Emilio Sparks. Emilio Sparks. Yeah. Interesting. Um, but uh, O ain't fucking with niggas. So O don't fuck with you neither? No, O love me. Me and O Ty, we just okay. together at Bernie. We got the same lawyer. Okay. O my yeah. boy, man. But O is just, I don't know, man. O is just really, really, uh, he got a strong personality. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? And uh, I don't know how to say it, man. It's just, you got to you gotta know him to love him. You know, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really yeah. got to know him to love him, man. But if you really know him, you'll know where he coming from and- I agree. I see his view. You know what I'm saying, and I support him. You know what I'm saying. Did you Did you ever feel like Jay Z did a verse and he might have tapped you a little bit, like he might have been talking about you on something? No, no, nah, nah, I never, never felt uh, like something was involving me. So why did you Why didn't you just go all out? Did you did do some records? You did throw some shots at him, right? Um, I was bucking on everybody. Yeah. Though. You know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah, around yeah. that time, I was giving yeah. everybody a little bit. I was just renegating, man, at the time, man. Do do you like the treatment of Dame Dash in the industry the way the industry treat Dame? Do you think they treat him fucked up? I don't like that. Yeah, I think they do treat him fucked up. Yeah, I, don't, I think he deserved way more, man, and and he should. We definitely know he should be in a different position, and he's 
somebody should be utilizing his wisdom. What he got, yeah. Um, his drive and shit. Cause he an ill nigga when he in his bag. He could be an ill nigga because he he moving. He's he's like persistent and uh he don't sleep. This nigga is ill. Like I was with this nigga though. One day, it's me and Bula, my man Bula, he producer. Producer, yes. Yeah, yep. so we in baseline studio. So Dame and uh Kanye and uh Biggs come in. They like, yo, what's up? What y'all doing, man? Yo, come on, man, grab your bags and shit. We out. We got we me and Boo. I'm like, come on, lie. We hop up in the turtle top with me, Kanye, Biggs, and Dane. We shoot straight to the um Clareport. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? We hop on the jet. Hop on the jet. Um, I'm I'm falling asleep. I'm sleepy. You know what I'm saying? I get sleepy on anything. I can fall asleep. I was in the studio with y'all one time. Remember, I had sitting on music shit. Right. You was knocked the fuck out. I'm like, yo, how the fuck crack fall asleep that fast? <laughs> It was me, you, C, and I'm narcoleptic or some shit. And um, and LD, you was knocked. I'm like, oh, how the fuck? We was just talking. You was knocked. The but fuck yo, out. Th- this nigga Dame do not ever sleep. I never seen him fall asleep. So the whole time I'm sleep, I keep dozing off, and he slapped my leg hard as shit. Like, like yo, I'm like yo, what's up? He's like yo, man, come on, man, you get some sleep when you dead, man. I'm like, come on, man. I'm tired of shit. Wake me up when we when we when we get out. I'll be fine. I fall back to sleep. He hit me again. Boom. I'm like, yo, my man, look. Yeah, do one more hit. Yeah. We ain't gonna keep, we not gonna keep doing that, dog. <laughs> Don't keep yeah. touching me like that. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, oh, but we fly to we fly to um Shot Town for the R. Kelly video. Then we get back on it, like for like one hour in Shot Town, from New York to Shot Town. One hour, go right back to the Clareport, get back on the drinks, fly to Vegas, and go to the um a fucking uh, what's my man name from Philly? Uh, fucking um, you o- from Philly? OG? I don't, I'm not big on boxes Levert? and shit. The boxes. Oh, oh, Bernard Hopkins. Bernard, it was a yeah, Nard yeah, fight. Yeah, my yeah, bad, yeah. Nard. It's my man. I'm about man. to say he's talking about you. You yeah. from Philly? You should but know. But look, yeah, yeah. when we pull up to the Clareport in in Vegas, Floyd pick us up because Dane was managing him at the time. Wow. Seriously, so he pick us up in a. You was in the loop. In the loop. So he, he picked us up in like a yellow Lambo and a yellow Hummer and shit. So we walking through the MGM with this nigga Floyd and uh we go to see the fight. We go sit front row at the fight, me, Dane, Biggs, and everybody. We get back on the plane, back on the Clearport, same day. That's our that's our second state or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we slide that we go to Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? To Cali. And we slide there and go to the um yeah, rented some mansion out there. And we chilled out there for a little while till it got nighttime. Then we go back to the Clareport, came back to New York. Kanye, was you ever around Kanye? Mm-hmm. What type of nigga is Kanye West? Is this the same nigga that you knew he was going to be? Or like, what type of dude was he? Because mm. how come y'all never really worked? But we always was cool, though. You know what okay. I'm saying? Because he's just a, he, he a real cool dude. Like, he's real subtle and calm and chill and shit. And, uh, so is this nigga we see an act? Or like, nah. Um, when I be, it be weird to me because I'm like, damn, I used to be around this nigga, and this nigga is like real crazy right now. <laughs> it's crazier yeah, than you. Like, <laughs> yeah, like a different kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I don't, I, I can't understand his crazy. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. My crazy is a little more blatant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, it be weird watching because I remember like we would be uh, we'll be like a lot of different places and we have a lot of different conversations. And to see him uh, the way he is now, but then I think about uh, a lot of the shit that he went through, like with his mother and all of yeah. that shit. And I put myself in like, damn, how would I be? I think I would be real fucking reckless at this point. You know what I'm saying? If would I went you, through the bullshit. Would you, would you say you are supposed to be Kanye West where he's at? Would I say that? Yeah. The nah. reason why I'm asking you that because... You were supposed to be like the first artist on Rockefeller when when the reemerge come. Mm, I wouldn't say that because we had a lot of artists over there. Yeah, yo. but remember, around that the time, attention was on you at one point. Kind of, sort of, but around that time, I remember doing a lot of showcases, and it was me, Rihanna, uh, Neo, Tierra Marie. Um, th- these was the people that they was kind of like investing the yeah, time into. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I didn't never feel that way. Like that was supposed to be. Nah, I didn't. So, um, y'all, y'all doing state, uh, is, is, Beans is locked up at a point. You mean at a point? Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Beans is locked up at a point. Like he, three years. But he stayed with Dame Dash. I don't know what was going on with them, because he, he would stay with Dame Dash, and then 
he would make a diss record. Yeah, yeah, Bay, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. then he diss Jay, and then he'd be back on stage with Jay. I don't know what the fuck was going on. I didn't know what, what, how to move with the shit. Like, I, I never understood what was going on. It was like a, it was a certain little area that I didn't know what the fuck was going on with these niggas. True or false, keep it a buck. Mm -hmm. Did Jay Z steal Chris style? Young Chris. I wouldn't say he stole it, but he definitely borrowed that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's obvious. Yeah, with the with the whole whisper. Yeah, Gunna, was, is that really Chris? That's what Chris was doing first. Yeah, Gunner, Gunner, that that's Gunner shit. Yeah, everybody knew that. But but it seemed like he never wanted to say Jay Z stole my shit. No, he never did that. No, I no, he can't do that. He ain't never gonna do that, man. So, um, speaking of style stealing, um, you know this one is coming. What you think? Ah. Is, what you what you think is coming? The we meek, roll it? We the roll meek it? Meek Mill shit. The Meek Mill shit. Yeah, he's funny All right. shit. All right. Meek up? is dope as fuck. Let's say that. Yeah, I, think meek is, I think Meek is incredible. I met Meek. He got great energy. Um, oh, you mean personally? Personally. He yeah, gave he cool me, kid. He gave, yeah. me, he gave me an interview when he was on house arrest mm -hmm. and gave me a freestyle, so I'll never shit on Meek. No, he got a cool person. He is cool. He, got a, he, he don't got a negative vibe. But I you know do what I'm hear some PD crack. And Meek Mill. Do you hear some Petey Crack in Meek Mill? I mean, at times, I'm going to be honest with you. I, at times, I do hear some. At times, more back then than now. now yeah, he's his own person. Now, now. Yeah, now yeah, he's, he's kind of groomed into his own uh, little, uh, you know what I'm saying, little groove. But uh, more back then in the beginning, I would hear a little shit. But to be honest with you, man, uh, I like the, I look at shit for, for really how it is and not for how people present it because people will present that to me in a negative way to get a negative reaction out of me. Yeah, They'll yeah, be like, yeah, yo, what's up with ball? Tell your style and shit. And they would expect for me to be like, yeah, man, fuck that nigga. But I don't take it that way, man. If at any point um, he t had, uh, was influenced by me, you know what I'm saying, at any point. But if you think about it, around the time when um, State Property was rocking and all that shit was going on. influenced the whole Philly. Uh, Meek probably was about like, maybe like 16 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah, a yeah. kid and he was influenced. And to me, uh, to hear somebody, uh, anybody, whether him or whoever, uh, it's a pat on the back to know He's that. from North too though, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it's a pat on the back to me. I don't look at it like still. I look at it because I was influenced. I used to rap like DOS Effects, and you know what I'm saying it groomed me. So it's more of a pat on the back. I never got offended. Did y'all ever that. have a conversation like me? You, you, you know. No, you we got, never. You got a you, you got a little bit of my DNA in your shit. Nah, though. I would never say that to him, man. Cause uh, uh, that's no big deal. No, I no, I don't give a fuck because I have no one style. So it may be little uh, cliche things that I yeah, do yeah, that yeah, may yeah. sound familiar, but it's no one style to bite. So. All right, let me ask you something. Do you realize how dope you really are, though? At times, I don't think I do. Because, like, you just got your shit just stood out. Like, that's PD Crack. Right. You know, everybody in state property was dope. I can't say nobody was really weak because everybody had their thing, but it was just something about you. It was just like, yo, this nigga sound dope. Mm -hmm. But I always felt like, do you feel like you shot yourself in the foot? Like you didn't live up to your potential because of PD crap? Uh, honestly, you know what? I think that uh, at the time, I think it was too much too soon for me. And I think I got overwhelmed. You know what I'm saying? I got overwhelmed. And uh, uh, I didn't know how to uh, maneuver it. You know what I'm saying? And was I you getting like real control. fucked up at the time? Like, was you I lost control of the whole shit. Cause yeah. Something happened that I never thought would actually happen. You know what I'm saying? So you was you didn't get a chance to live in the moment and say you wasn't prepared for. I it. lost control. I just I didn't have control over it. You know what I'm saying? It was too much going on. I think the company was too big. I was with it happened too fast with too big. Maybe if I was on fucking uh they my bullshit ass kind of loud or somebody. Yeah, you I it probably would have went a little smoother. Loud, loud, loud was dope. Loud had fucking yeah, loud. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm on Rockefeller Records. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. biggest fucking record label in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with this nigga Jay and and yeah, it was it was too biggest. much. It was mad pressure and I started to not like this shit. I started to not want to do it no more. Seriously. So, so let's let's take them back one second. Mm -hmm. When the dip set. And 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 I can't say Rockefeller because they was on Rockefeller, but when the dip set and and the the, the Jay Z shit is on and popping, 
where you stand are you like yo this shit is crazy like what what besides him deleting the verse uh-huh. was cuz cuz then they started like throwing shots at Jay like they started doing diss records they was, but um, I was with SP. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't no need for me to take yeah. a side. I was just spectating. I wasn't I'm taking no sides. Personally, I'm more of a Cameron fan though than Jay Z. Yeah. Oh shit, he said that on. But camera. I do like, yeah, I yeah. like Jay shit. But this is the thing, I didn't. Um, I'm more of a, I'm more of a Raekwon, Ghostface, Mob Deep type of nigga opposed to a. A hustler, uh, street nigga. Jay more strategic. I like more gritty shit. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, okay, <clears> okay. <throat> but Jay always was the illest with, as far as like the craft. You know what I'm saying? But I mean content and shit like that. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't really relate to that shit. You ever watch him record? I've never seen him record. <laughs> Word the whole time. Never. Damn. Ever. What's 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 the best song Jay Z made? To me, yeah. My favorite song. Favorite my favorite Jay Z song. Uh, Damn man, mm, I got a, I got a lot of couple man. Uh, fuck. Mm. Lyrical exercise is one of my favorites, and that's the unsung one. That, that breathe people, easy, huh? People don't really know about that record. Yeah, but that was one of my favorites, yeah. and that beat is like one of my favorite beats yeah, too. Yeah, like, yeah. Core Mega used that. Core Mega did that. Yeah, first. yeah. But ever since after that, like ever since after that, um, I always use that beat. Even if I'm writing a song for somebody else's song, Jeez, I won't even do. Beat. I won't even do. I'll write it to the Breathe Easy beat and then put the verse on their song. Yo, you wasn't around for Ether, right? I was. <laughs> when Ether came out, niggas what? was shook daddy up there. Like, what did you say? I ain't say shit. I love Nas, but but they a- was bitching. Dane was like, yo, y'all, yo, did y'all hear this shit? Y'all gotta get this nigga. This is not good. <laughs> y'all, I remember that day. Dane was like, yo, come on. He had the whole state property in there. He's like, yo, man, come on, fuck that, man. You know, he hit him with the Dame Diddy and all that shit. Yeah, that nigga yeah, was yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah, he was that day. He was heated about that shit. But was Ether really dope, though? I ain't Ether think... was murder. I ain't think Ether. Ether was better than Takeover. Crazy cat shit. Ether's, huh? Ether's better than Takeover? Fuck yeah, man. Ether like one of the bombest diss records in history. Dog. How the how? Come on, doggy man. I ain't think Ether was that you dope. You tripping, I'm man. I'm going to keep it real with you. I, my favorite diss record of all time is The Bitch and You What's by that? Common Sense going at Ice Cube. A bitch nigga with an attitude named Cube. I remember that. But that, no, was, that, no was, Vaseline. that was kind of, that was, no Vaseline. But I thought Ether was like snapping. It, was, it wasn't really too much factual shit in there. Oh, man, but it's so good. I don't know, man. I'm just a gritty nigga, man. I like how that shit come on. But, but come on, man. You was on Rockefeller. R.O.C. You're running check this rap yo, shit. I swear to come God, on, look, man. Listen to this shit. I swear. The whole time when all them battles was going on, I was I had to suppress my- <laughs> How you really feel? How I really felt. Yo, I swear. Like when Beans and Jada Kiss, I love Jada Kiss. Damn. I swear to God. I love Mac too, but I love Kiss, so- it's hard to act like I don't like this nigga when they battle. I'm like, yeah, fuck that nigga. Meanwhile, I got this shit on in the crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Damn. banging that lock shit. So, I think I I love the Jada Kiss and Beanie battle. I think I'm gonna edge that, that one. The, that was I'm gonna edge that one to Beans though. You know what? Honestly, come from me, man. Um, they went so hard, man. Uh, it's hard. I think they reason why reason why I say that. I didn't like. Jada Kiss rhyming over that disco sounding beat. Oh, I remember that. that thin, 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 thin. I yeah. didn't like that, but he rhymed over "Put Your Hands Up, Beanie" and went hard. Like, I'm a son, kiss like a soda. I was like, "Yo, whoa, he whoa, did whoa, fuck whoa. him up with that one." Whoa. But you know what though, man? I, it's kind of like a tie to me, man. No, I, no. I mean, I, I, I love both. Felt, of them. I never felt like um nobody had won over. Like if you ask me about the Nas and Jay joint, I think Nas murdered him. Damn. But um, with the with the uh. With the kissing and beans drawing, I never felt like somebody did better than each other. I just seen them both going hard, and it was entertaining to me. It was dope. That was big for Beanie, though, because that's when everybody respected him as, okay, you hung with one of the toughest yeah. niggas ever. I think Oskino and Chris had wrote that with him, too. A word? Yeah. Oh, shit. They wrote his rhyme? They all wrote it together. Ask Oskino. He knows better than me. Oh, no. say, oh go ahead. No, they did write that shit. They did. I remember. Damn. They wrote it together. All of them. I think, I'm, I'm sure Mac had took part in it, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I definitely know that Chris Hold and, up. Did they help him with lines or they was like, 
All right, so you're right. I may not be exactly sure, yeah, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. it wasn't just him to the face. Okay, okay. Yeah, Niggas yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. chimed in with certain little punches and shit. Yeah, Yo, yeah, hold yeah. up, slide this in here. So, um, how did Jay Z change after Ether? Did the was niggas he... gonna be on fire? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yo, listen, man. I'm not saying nothing wrong, and if and if somebody do say like I'm saying something wrong, it's just how I see it. Like yeah, that's, from my from perspective, your perspective. It's PD. everybody got their own perspective. Yeah. This this is how I saw it. These are the things I remember. You know we ain't apologize. There's no filter, man. That's Fuck, what this no, I ain't apologizing, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So I'm just clarifying. How, how did Jay Z act after? Ether, was he different? Was he like Nah, I hope too cool for that. He okay. never he never lost character or, or he never changed I never seen a, an effect on him. I think I think when that shit was happening, this thing was like on a major vacation, like yeah, out yeah. in uh <laughs> some weird wild shit out in yeah, Italy, the, Italy yeah, the, for a long time we ain't yeah, see this yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. But he was like super chilling, like like he ain't give a fuck. So was was did you ever get a chance to meet Beyonce? I did. What was her energy like? She was cool. Yo, she was really, really sweet and cool. Like, she was really... It was amazing, like, for somebody of her caliber uh -huh. to um, how hospitable she was. And, like, she... Like, I'm just Petey Crack. She'd be like, Petey, you all right? You want something to drink? Wow. But, you know, she's Southern, so, you yeah, know, they... Yeah, Southern hospitality. They naturally like that. Chick out here in New York would be like, nigga, you better... Right. Get your own shit to drink. Yo, but she was super cool, man. Always was real cool. So, you she never tried to take, like, Rihanna down or none of them like that? Nah, I never was attracted to Rihanna at that time. <laughs> now we love yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, but at the yeah, time, yeah. I don't know. She's I'm not big, big, head, on, big I'm, not, I'm not really big on light skinned women. You know what I'm saying? Rihanna so. ain't light skinned, nigga. She's light skinned. You light skinned. I'm light skinned. Rihanna's light skinned, man. Nah. She's not brown skinned. Anybody else can agree with me? Rihanna's brown skinned. She's not light skinned? No. It's the, it's the Jack Daniels. All right. Well, I like browns. Okay. Boogie brown. Okay. All right. So, so. you never try to take salons down either. Salon. I never even met Solange. Damn. That's, she light skinned. That's like the closest yeah. thing to Beyonce. I'm not attracted to her either. Damn. No. So who the fuck was you attracted to? Who did I like? Um, Who no, liked you? Who liked you? Uh, come on, dog. You relax. No, no, no. Come on, man. Like, like, no, no. <laughs> now, listen. No, this is the thing, man. <laughs> See, the thing is with me, man, uh, I don't like... I like I like, I like. like uh, plain Janes, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I can't deal with too Nigga, much. You had a celebrity crush. Everybody had a celebrity crush. Yeah, I still do, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> actually, actually, actually talking to somebody. Yeah, 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 you yeah, got to yeah. be like a regular, um, everyday, a ran away type of person. You don't want nobody with no big ass with, head. I can't deal with it, man, because I'm really simple. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I can't deal with too much complicated, um, what they call them shits, prima donna, all that bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't fuck with it. Um, tough question. If you was meek, in a situation with Drake, how would Crack had to handle that? Honestly, when it was going down, um, I was like, "Get him, Meek." That's how I was like, "Get the nigga, no. Meek." All he had to do, man, was turn the G shit up on him. He would have got shook. <laughs> He's supposed to turn the G. You remember back in the day when niggas was talking shit on the rap and niggas. Niggas got on some real shit. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. shit got dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. he didn't, it didn't get dark. Nothing happened. And you let, it seemed like boy just, boy, you let him get his heart all pumped up now. And then he, you done created a monster. You can't even count this nigga. When, when he, this nigga continuously disrespecting when, now. Especially when he did it in Philly, man. Continuously disrespecting, but if and when it first happened, if you gathered up the goons and just got on, just did like five tracks on some straight. Philly gangster shit. Forty them. and let that nigga know, like, yo, listen, nigga, look, this some rap shit, but don't fuck with us like that, cause on some real shit, we don't really fuck around like that. We'll fuck you up for real. Do you think and Drake would have shut that shit down? You would have heard shit out of Drake. Do you think Philly kind of turned it back on Meek a little bit by letting Drake come? Nah, in they don't turn it, nah, I don't think they turn it back on him. Nah, because, 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 all right, look at it like this: if somebody dis. Beanie Siegel at the highlight of Beanie Siegel being Beanie Siegel, he wouldn't have been able to perform in Philly, right or wrong? Yeah, at, the, at that time, man, it's gay now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At that time, yeah. we had credibility and people was like, we was real about how we felt about our artists and shit. Yeah. But now, it's just so fucked up now. Everybody is fake, fugazi on some faggy shit. But, um, this is the thing with Meek and Philly, man. Meek. From my perspective, it's like a love hate um relationship with Philly with me. You know what I'm saying? Isn't it, ain't they like that with all of y'all sometimes? Um, like, hey. nah, nah, I don't, okay. I don't say with all of us. 
I just from the outside looking in, just my opinion. Um, when I hear people talk or I see how they perceive him, I, I believe they love him because um they're proud of him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody love to see somebody be successful from where they come from and shit like that. But um then it's the other side, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that they appreciate and I don't know. It's just not you know, he be at a, he he got a certain way about him. That think rub people the wrong way. People, see, this is the thing. In Philly, Philly always feel like they like you owe them something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if you don't know none of these motherfuckers, if you just from Philly, they feel like like you gotta you gotta get show them some attention and you gotta be there. And he don't owe nobody nothing. You know what I'm saying? He don't gotta give nobody nothing. No no rappers, no verses, nobody, no money, no none of that shit. That's his shit. He earned it, and that's his shit. Y'all y'all got the best spitters and rappers in Philly though. Do y'all realize that though? Like when I think about me, you, Beans, Cassidy, even Cicero, Joey mm-hmm. Jahad, like. I, no, I agree. No, all the people you name it, but I'm just saying. Why people, y'all don't? But do, people say the best rappers is because I I've grow up. Uh, Growing up watching like all rappers from all around the world, and I never just thought about just Philly. Like, well, I think me being from Brooklyn, I think it what got me was y'all niggas are staying on the YouTube and rhyme for like four minutes straight. Don't breathe, don't stop. Like, yeah, who the but, fuck but, but, wrote like nine hundred yeah, bars though? But the the flip side to it is is there is no business in Philly. Like nobody yeah, yeah, has yeah, no yeah. business sense. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. We don't have no companies. But the talent was, was the there. The talent is there, but it's never been no business there. There's no record labels there. No, Not too many outlets. Cosmic Kev is there spending whatever he want to spend when he want to spend it. No disrespect, Kev. Is he is he the, the funk flex of Philly? He is, my bad. Okay. Yeah, he's the funk flex of Philly. So it, will there be another state property album? I doubt it. Because of O and Bean's situation or just because you're not doing it or some niggas um, just don't want to do it? Uh, honestly, man. See, this is the thing, man. The fans that love it and talk about it, that uh-huh. want to get that, they feel as though they want to get that because uh, they thinking back to the old days. But them times change. It would never be the same. You know okay. what I'm saying? It wouldn't be the same. Everybody is different now. Like everybody didn't grown into their own people. Something like, wrong with Beanie voice a little bit too, right? It's not yeah. as strong as it used to be because he got yeah. shot. Well, yeah, he had got his, you know, he had shot like in the pancreas or some got shit. Got his lung removed, and he got his lung removed, and then oh. they had put like all the tubes and shit down his okay. throat. I think it fucked his voice box up a little bit. Okay, but um, it's getting better though. It's he a still wrap his ass off. Yeah, though. it's yeah. a little better than what it was. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we hear motherfucking PD crack. I think we covered a lot, man. Only thing they a probably want, yeah, the only thing they probably she gotta know, go to work. <laughs> oh shit, don't worry. Only thing they probably want to know mm. is when the fuck you gonna drop some music. <laughs> That's what they want to know, right? Um, honestly, you know what the thing is, man. It's hard. I never like saying, uh, like pre, like like saying like yeah, we dropping this in September or whatever, because nothing you ain't ever throw anything out though. You ain't throwing shit out. Nothing ever. Where it's not time yet, dog. Okay, yeah. it's not time. It's not. And man. what up? happened? You were supposed to do a group with Cuban Link, and, and and I never was supposed to do a group with Cuban Link. So that there. was that was like that's a, just my man. Okay. That's my brother. I love Cuban Link. Yeah, I love Cuban too. Cuban's yeah. the homie. So that that footage we saw, y'all were talking about I was supposed to do a group. That was that was just like at the moment. That's Cuban. He's you know, you, he ain't a little yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he yeah. probably just talking <laughs> shit. And you know what I'm saying, but fuck the group shit. He's always been my brother, man. Yeah. And it's just ill. No one's ill to me to actually be around. You know, I'm a real serious hip hop fan. Like when Big Pun was alive and all of that, they was like hip hop gods to me. Big. They was yeah, yeah, gods. Yeah, 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 yeah. So to be around like Lil C's and to be around Cuban Link. C's the most bullshit nigga ever. That's like the illest, but that's like the illest shit. Closest illest shit to being with Big. Like, yeah, 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 definitely. Or definitely. being with Pun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah, just yeah, ill. Yeah, like yeah. I was in the projects in the Bronx at um at Pun, like his aunt crib and the Jacks. Sleeping on the couch, and I would see like random shit around the house. It's like punch shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. they had, and it was just an ill feeling. Like, oh shit. Like you know he's here. Yeah, like this he's the crib. This is this is this the spot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So give them all your social network. PD Crack One, man. Just go on Instagram, man. Hit me on the gram. Gram is like my phone number, man. PD Crack One. Why you change the name to PD PD at one point? You know what? I thought that shit I was kind of trash. I never, I I never, I never, shit was no, no, I I never like, changed PD, PD, it. Nigga. I never changed it. This is oh. what happened. Corona had called me. And they was like, yo, we want you to do a commercial. We gave you $20,000. But we can't 
you can't use you can't use crack. crack. Okay. You got something else you could use. And, it, and at the time, that was around the time I was saying PDP in a lot of the verses. Okay, okay, So okay. my lawyer was just like, yo, man, just say PD, just use PDP. And you need to just change it like that because you're going to keep running into this problem. So I changed the PDP, but then one day I seen Jay. He ain't like it neither. Yeah, I was like, he's like, he's like, yo, man, fuck all that shit. It ain't PD crack, man. <laughs> and that's it. So it just went back to crack. So, um, if, if before we close out, if um Jay Z see this right now, you got anything you want to say to that man? No, nah. oh, just fuck that nigga. Hey, no, nah, come on, yeah, man. Yeah, like- <laughs> Look, listen, man. This is the thing, man. Um, everything, sir. Every every. Like the time that it is right now, what's uh-huh. going on right now, everything is for a reason. Everything that happened back then is for a reason. Uh, I'm not here to like be staring nobody or trying to change nobody's judgment or whatever. I need it natural. You know what I'm saying? Everything got to be just natural. You know what I'm saying? No, so, I just want you to. You, it's yeah, no I, issues though, right? Like it's you don't. No issues, okay. no. Nah. Yeah, you don't got no issues. <laughs> and I guess it ain't because Bleak was fucking with you, and that's his right hand man, right? Yeah, Bleak, man, they yeah. all cool, man. Jay, yeah. Jay, cool. He's he's still the big homie. I still we still got a lot of love and respect for him, especially more now because you understand because better. I now. understand better, you know what I'm and saying? And you, are, are you? I mean, besides and then you- and then overall, all of the bullshit. Um, the good shit outweighed the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He did a lot of shit for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dame yeah. did a lot of shit for me. Beans did a lot of shit for me. A lot of opportunity for me. That whereas though, uh, I wouldn't even be here. You know what I'm saying? Do you think you was getting too high back then though? So you was your judgment was clouded um, on certain things? Cause y'all look like y'all used to get fucked. Yeah, up. Yeah, we used to get fucked up. Yeah. But there's the other thing too though. I was a little more um. I was like high, like hypertension, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. disorder or some shit. Like ADD, I used to, you I used to be really uh, edgy. You know what I'm saying all yeah, the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. It stopped. I'm cool now, but I used to be really, 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 really edgy and really. Uh, I don't know. We was really violent. I'm saying you know, we grew <laughs> yeah, up in that era. That, nigga, that's around that time. We whip niggas ass. Like, yeah, like like now we we don't walk around with the guns and shit. Yeah, but yeah, back yeah. then we was on that bullshit. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying so. All right, I so that's know. what it is, yo, crack. What's up? I think we covered a lot. We covered it, man. Chop um, this shit up. Yeah, yeah. No, this just right. go straight. Like this no. is a, no. The audio is what's important. We gonna All put right. the audio out for the people and use the video. This is a podcast. Man. I got you. Don't you know what podcast? Where, like what Beanie did? Yeah. This is what we did. We this is the the. I got you. This gonna top his shit right here and all. I that. got you. Know you know what I'm saying? We we competing, but um. Minus the disrespect. Yeah, always a pleasure. What right. Beanie disrespected you? No, you <laughs> he was just going crazy on that joint. I yeah. don't know what's going on with him with that shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Airing niggas out and shit out the squad. We never did that, man. None of us. I never you said still, any. And you ain't do it today. Hmm? You ain't even do it today. I wouldn't do that, man. Yeah. If I got an issue, I'll talk, I'll talk to you. I'll pull you to the side. I'll call your phone. We could talk. But it's not for me to tell to the public so they can start looking at you like you some bullshit nigga or whatever. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they don't know no better. They going. There might be a little nigga in California that hear the the fucking interview and be like, "Damn, Petey cracking away, man." Yeah, 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 yeah. Listening yeah. to this nigga, they don't yeah, even know yeah, me yeah. like that, but he the OG, so they believe this shit. And y'all was together yesterday, like everything was normal. I mean, I'm there. I was just there to do my job. You know what I'm saying? I was yeah, there to yeah, do yeah, my yeah. job, and uh, at the end of the day, man, I love. I still love the squad. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's just not the the relationship. Just is is different. You know what I'm saying? And I'm fine with that, man. I love change. You know what I'm saying? But are you and Free, y'all came up together. Yeah, What's we y'all good. relationship? Everything you, is good? Yeah, we good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get well to Free, too. Yeah. You know, stay on top of your health. Free good. Free. He's strong, man. Yeah, Free's yeah, yeah, strong, yeah. man. He got the new Maybach and shit. Damn. He chilling. Yo, all right. Uh, this is the last one, I promise. Mm-hmm. Freeway and Cassidy. Was you around for that? Um, No, I wasn't signed yet. But I was observing with the rest of the world. So you wasn't in, in the room or nothing? No, I wasn't even with Rockefeller yet. When that happened and you saw it, was you like, get that nigga free? Get that. Did, did you knew that he had more or that was just a situation where it was a bad matchup for free at the it time? It was a bad day. Because remember, Cause, free had shot his load on the radio. Yeah, yeah he did. Yeah, they yeah, him yeah, yeah, he could, yeah, yeah. He did use all his verses and yep. shit for the radio. But uh, yeah, it was a bad, it was bad, it was <laughs> yeah. bad timing, man. It was bad yeah. time. And then with the whole cut a beat on shit, people really blew that out of proportion. Yeah, yeah. put a beat on as yeah. a weakness and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I knew where he's coming from because I could fuck you up better on a beat. You know what I'm saying with the flow, I could roll on you better. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know. All right, so that's what it is. This is Doggy Dom. There's no filter. Shout out to Quan Lee. He's definitely in the building. Shout out to the homie Henny Lo- Henny Lokes for real. Lo- Loco. Entertainment. 
Shout out to Philly. Hope y'all listening. We Shout out my baby Liz over here. <laughs> Liz in the building. She got to go to work. Right. But she's kidnapped for a little while. Right. Shout out to PD Crack, man. Crack is the homie. We always chop it up. No and doubt. Um, this was raw, uncut, no filter. That's I took we... it a little easy today. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, if, if the rebuttal from anybody come and it look good. Then know, I'll turn the heat we, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. But, but we don't want to do that, though. Nah, we, nah. We, we I'm want, fucking with you, We man. want a regular deggle and yeah. shit, though. So, yo, this is Doggy Diamonds. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you go to my Instagram, Doggy Diamonds. Um, if you want to look at this, I mean, listen to this, doggydiamondsnofilter.com. That's the website. So you could go right to it. Shout out to Quan Lee for filming shit. Quan Lee. Make sure you go to Quan Lee. What is it? Quan Lee TV? That's it. Quan Lee TV is the Instagram. Um, Quan Lee. Everything Quan Lee TV, man. Shout out to the hardest working man. I mean, he filmed stripper pussy for a living and shit like that, but. He be filming the strippers? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's about to go film I'm stripper going pussy. With you, man, yeah, where yeah, you going? Yeah. He I'm going right to, behind you, he man. Going so to sugar, I'm drop off on yeah. you too. He going to Sugar Daddy's to film stripper pussy. Yeah, so that's what it is. I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with strippers and shit like that. Me neither. Yeah. I hate that whole concept. Yeah, yo. fuck they. No, I like strippers. But yeah, that but whole being in the they strip ain't getting club, no money from I me. I like though. them outside the club. They not getting no money from me. Fuck though. no. They ain't getting no money. So yo, this is Doggy Divers, man. I'm going peace. Yeah. All right, all right. I got to get the fuck out of here. Thank you for listening to Doggy Diamonds No Filter Podcast. If you like this podcast, make sure you share this. Spread the word. Talk about it. Argue with me. I don't give a fuck what you do. Leave a comment. This is Doggy Diamonds. I'm out of here. See you on the next podcast. Peace. Doggy Diamonds did this. Let's do this.